new alias. Hey, just real quick, real shit, deal with it. Deal with it. Deal with it. Deal with hey. it. Hey. We got a special oh, guest in the building. He goes by Echo Fame okay. Grey Wolf. Thank you very much for getting that correct. And of course, we got Mr. Anonymous, Anonymous in the building. Anonymous, what's going on? I don't chase the cake, I just people chase the cake. We listen to Lil' Chef Wavy today. I'm on this squat while I'm great. Counting on this squat while I'm rolling great. I don't chase the cake, I just pay for chase. Yeah. I don't chase the cake, I just pay for chase. Okay. Counting on this guac while I'm rolling great. Okay. Let it ride, let it ride. Counting on this Why you think you broke getting a nigga rich? Why you think you broke getting a nigga rich? Why you think I'm happy and a nigga mad? Why you think I sold it out the glad bag? Just cause you rich don't mean you ain't a bitch, nigga. Just cause you rich don't mean you ain't a bitch, nigga. Talking about paying for some pussy. Get my damn. pain if it's a vibe. Hey, I was Chef Wavy with just cause you rich. And, and that's a true motherfucking statement. I know a lot of them. I'll probably work with a lot of them. Just cause you rich don't mean you ain't a bitch, nigga. I 2000% agree with that. No doubt. Cause sometimes. God damn. You know Josh got a sick car. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a touch on that. No, cause. Sometimes you gotta be a bitch to get rich. What? Wait, what? Think about yeah. it. Well, okay. Think okay. about it. No, I hear you. I Think hear you. Think about that, that shit because I. I yeah. He right. I, I have. Um, I had to change my government name to a stage name because my government name has not been working in my acting career. All right. And I just signed on with Nine Nine, so now they have to change my profile. So that's that's part of it. But when you look at all these celebrities, somebody that was a celebrity had to give them a shot. In essence, they became those motherfuckers bitch because how it works contractually. Damn, bro. You got me if, more time to be doing this. If you my boss and you made it big Damn, time bro. rapping or whatever, yeah. and then I'm that new guy that you feature. I'm under contract to you. So forty percent of what I make is going in your pocket yeah. because you producing all my shit. Not sixty. It, it, probably sixty. But let's 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 um let's say y'all remember when Eminem was working with Dr. Dre mm -hmm. in his first shit. Yep. And then all he did was work with Dr. Dre. Goddamn right. And then he formed, what was it, 112 or whatever the fuck it was? What was the don't name? Don't you have a disrespect. Hey, I don't know. 112's a singing name. group. Eminem did something D12. with the, Whatever. There you go. See, thank you for the correction. 30 dozen. As long as you know who the fuck I was talking about. Canivers group then. Yeah. That better? Ain't no goddamn Canivers. What the fuck ever. Any fucking hell. I'm sorry for swearing. Go ahead. Anyhow, every money that they made, with Eminem's pocket before it went to their pocket. You see what I'm saying? So you kind of got to be somebody's bitch to get rich. And no disrespect to anybody I just mentioned, like Eminem and Dr. Dre and all that shit. And then like with these gangster rapper ri rivalry shit. <coughs> that shit feed money. Because we all know, all right, all right, this motherfucker, we going to be just like wrestlers. After you beat my ass in the ring, we going to drink. Yeah. Now we going straight down the block and we going to drink. These motherfuckers don't know how this shit works. But these motherfuckers, yeah. I mean, as far as you talking about rap beef and shit like that, this new some of it's real. This yeah, this new rap beef is is off the chain, nigga. I mean, yeah, I'm, it's I'm, like I'm back in the nineties rap beef. Speed on that shit. Niggas dying left and right. Like I said, nah, shout out Young Dolph. Right. We had a motherfucking whole motherfucking <clears throat> yep yeah, episode. He, he just went out though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He literally just went out. And that was, I mean, we can't prove it, but we know it's through a whole motherfucking feud. Of a rap beef from years and years ago with that nigga. What's his name again? I can't remember. Yo, got it. About. But that's the thing with the rap beef. I mean, some of that shit is very fucking real. Some of that shit is a stage show just to make sales. No. And if you can make good sales, you get to go. No. It's kind of like tabloid heat. You know, they, you know, it's 
Elvis Presley Boulevard, you hear them talk about that, right? We now have Young Dolph Avenue. Yep. That's what's up. Yep. Shouts out to you, Dolph. What Shouts did they name, um, damn it, the guy that died three years ago? I think it was three years ago? Um, shit. Somebody help me out. Y'all born to the rap game than I am. I know it had to be at least three. Three years ago? Yeah. Um, King, King Von? No. Um, other guy. You sure it was three years ago? Three it years ago? Been, might have been three, might have been two. I'm not real sure because they just did a mural of him not too oh, long Oh, you talking ago. about uh, Nipsey Hussle? Yeah, him. Thank you. Nipsey. So what's that, three? Is it three? Yeah, about three. Yeah. yeah. About three. Yeah, because they just made a time mural of him. Time go by fast. Yep. Yeah, time go by too goddamn God fast. Damn. But, um, if fuck. I was in school, it his, wouldn't go by that fast. His shit, time was, went by fast. his shit was, he was about to fucking blow. Oh, yeah. You no, know? and next thing you know, he gone. So he I, was like, gone. I, I just same learned out who he was with, when he died. Same thing with Dolph. Yeah, see, I well, didn't was, know him yet. He was blow. He was blown. I mean, he was, yeah. Dolph was there. Yeah. They couldn't stand it. But that's the thing. But and, you know what, Dolph, one of his, his, one of his, uh, one of his songs I heard that nigga say, I want to be a billionaire. I'm on my way. Yeah. 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 See, that's the thing, though. He was. He was. I want to try to make this as less reverse on, racist as possible. No, let me do go ahead. He was on his way. So, we don't sense it around here. Well, I still want to make it as less That's reverse racist. Right Excuse me. I want to make it as less reverse racist as possible. All right? If, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, a lot of our, our, our people of color, and it's been like this since the 90s. So, and since I'm the oldest fucker in the room, um, a lot of our people of color don't want other people of color to succeed. It, How old are you? Really Tell them your age. I'm 48. <laughs> Shocking, huh? But yeah, the whole the whole thing is that like I see back when beef wasn't that bad, like Public Enemy and NWA, they ain't really had no real beef, right. you know. And then with KRS One and them, there was no real beef. Nah, there ain't no real beef. But you know these motherfuckers was the pioneers. Then when well, gangster rap, MC Search and, 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 and MC Hammer. See, you above my pay grade. <laughs> but when when they started getting into that shit and the gangster rappers, and then like LL and Kumo D and all these motherfuckers, that's when shit started getting real. Okay. I'm like, okay, here we go. Now, no disrespect to everybody I just named. When it comes to people of color. Somebody came across my FYP on TikTok, for those who don't know what that Fuck is. Fuck your pussy. And then <laughs> they said some shit that was totally true about how black celebrities forget that they got money, but they won't open up banks and give loans to other people of color right. to make things go easy for people of color. Forcing people of color to go to people who are not of color who control the money so they can't fucking get loans to get started. That's real. Which keeps the people of color who have the money and the power at top billing. Right. No. Right. Um, 21 years ago, my acting career journey started. All right. You've been in a couple of afflicted. I still have more to than put a couple. Up there. Almost all of them, except for my last shit that I can't. Twenty edit. of them. Anyway, the fucking Millennium Studios came to Richmond. Which is why my black ass never moved to North Carolina for Screen Gems. I never moved to New York, never moved to Florida, never moved to California because they promised us Hollywood East. That shit didn't happen. Hollywood East. Yeah. yeah. So I'm still going to reach out to Millennium because it's under new management now. But it's just the concept of 20 years ago when I was young and much more better looking than I am now and had the body to do the shit that I do. I still do the shit. It's just not as fast. But it's just that, you know, where I can be now, if given a chance, instead of having to take the journey of, well, I can't get a job. Let me join the army. Now I need a new hip. Now I need another new hip. I could have been doing what I wanted to do, but I can't if the people who's in charge are people of color who don't want to give other people of color the opportunity to work. Now, when you are in charge, don't forget where you came from. Give somebody the chance that somebody gave you so that you can excel, which again goes back to my- Like Microsoft. I gotta be somebody's bitch to get rich thing. Who? I'm gonna be your bitch, but you gonna get you gonna rich be... and I'm gonna get rich. You're okay. gonna get richer on me being your bitch, but I'm still gonna take some of that breadcrumbs off. You're gonna get more because so, you're producing so, that shit. So saying this, all right, so you saying that. So if somebody offered you a 360 deal, you cool with that, like a crazy 360 deal. They get all your publishing, they get all your royalties, they get all your masters, they get, you know, all your, your, your CD money, your sales money and all that shit. Only thing you get to keep is portion of your show money. 
Jeff. You, that's, I'm, that's, I'm a little mad with that, but, you know, it may be my only shot. Right. You know, and that, that does happen to be a problem, because yeah. if that's my only shot, I may have to take that shit. And I'm going to be broke. Right. I'm going to be broke. But I may have to take that shit, because other than that, I will never get noticed. No, because you got you got to think about all right, how long you've been in the business. Some of these motherfuckers bust out because they know motherfuckers, they know motherfuckers, they know motherfuckers is gonna invest. When you don't know nobody, you gotta take what you can get, cause you might not get another fucking shot. I've been in this business for 21 years and ain't had a shot. The one shot that I did have, the college movie, got scrapped because the two college cats got to fighting because one of them's girlfriend didn't like the goddamn movie scheduling. You Fuck know how it is to do the 619 when you're not Ray fucking Mysterio? It's not fun. I had to learn it. I was set, and the movie got scrapped. All right, so that's Mr. That's Anonymous, What's up? same question. What's up? Would you take a 360 deal? Everything I just said. Oh, you, no. No? Nope. Elaborate. We're yeah. not about to do that. You're not about to get all my royalties. That's supposed to go to my kids. You got yeah, me fucked real. all the way up. That's well, real. I don't have kids. It don't matter. <laughs> Good point. I'm just saying. You gonna go to somebody, be your niece. Fuck I, that. Cause I'm not gonna give it to you. But see, here, here's the thing though. A lot of people do get fucked that way. Cause um, what the fuck was the? I'm group? not gonna give um, you. Uh, a black group got fucked but, that way. But I mean, um, but like, say right say you had to get on though. Yeah. And your your shows was thirty thousand dollars a show. You doing five shows a week. I'm saying you know that. Saying? I'm That's saying still that. That's a lot of money, though. That's a lot of money. It's, it's I'm a saying lot, that. But it ain't enough. That used to work in the '90s, right? Or some of the 2000s. Yeah. But yeah. 22 year? No, that's not. We know too many other niggas that know niggas <laughs> that know some other niggas. They're gonna tell you, nah, bro, you got that fucked up. Do, do this, that, and the other. Fuck them niggas. Yeah. Matter of fact, and, tell me and, somebody and, out there. Yeah, this shit. They might like give you option. all they game, but they gonna give you enough for you to figure the fuck out. Yeah. No. Goddamn. There should always be another option. Goddamn. However, That's a whole lot of know, money giving up. L- l- let me elaborate. That. You have to understand. Sometimes desperate people do desperate. Oh, shit. absolutely. You no, know, and and when you get that desperate, like like I said, I done put twenty one years on the James oh, Williams. I Jingle, feel you. I ain't got shit. So now if I just build myself out as a native, I got a better fucking chance because there's no lot of native actors working. How many native actors can you work in name right now? Mm. Not a one. You. Besides the exceptionally famous Graham Greene in West Studi. I don't know her name or his name. What's this movie? And besides Red Dogs, that Green. just came out. Graham Greene. I don't know who that is. is that you know who he is. Movie? Did you see um, Green by the Dances Graham? with Wolves? No, nah, I sound like some... Um, sound like Graham some, Greene's in Dances with Wolves. Some ABC He's stuff. also in The Last of the Mohicans. Have you seen Geronimo? He's in there. And West Studios what is the these stars. movies you name it, man? Oh, real? I ain't heard of her. I ain't heard of her. You say you fool, nigga? God <laughs> damn. Hold on. You oh, never heard of any of You say nigga? <laughs> you know what I mean? God damn. Can you, know, can you are, name like regular are, fucking movies? They are regular movies. They're Western. You know that shit? <laughs> you name five <laughs> movies that I don't know, nigga. I watch everything. They're Westerns. Oh. There's some shit that made see, back in the 30s. I'm the man, you see. <laughs> but they're not, they're not in the 30s. It's a West. Look, the kind yeah. you said, the, the kind you said, your job, they be looking at on TV in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> well, those Westerns <laughs> didn't even have me, natives me, in me. there. <laughs> <laughs> those guys were Italian. They didn't have real natives in there outside of the guy that played Tonto. Yeah, they had somebody rest, dressed up. You yeah. right. You right about and, that. And it's the same you thing know what, with man, it's um, certain up. wrestlers. Because I look at the rest of um, na- um, old Westerns now. Yeah. And I look at that shit, I be like, y'all some. That's some fucked up shit, ain't it? Yeah. My grandpa. I was like, y'all niggas is fucked up. Gun smoking shit. shit. This nigga God acting damn. Indian and shit. Native American. How That's you think crazy. I feel? How you think I feel when I they found out that they were black not face. Black face. Were, Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But see, they, they found the work That shit is fucked up, bro. They found, so I see the nigga paint his whole face red like, yo, they, hey, ho. Oh. <laughs> they, they found the work around with that shit. They, they did some blatant race. I yeah. racist blatant shit. They, they found the work around. Because the closest thing that they could find to resemble Native Americans for entertainment has been Italian people. And I'm going to tell you something historically that fucked me up for the rest of my life. Um, you know the crying Indian, Iron Eyes Cody? He has the canoe and the throwing the burgers at his feet and shit. I'm old as fuck. You have to Google it. Well, I found out Iron Eyes Cody wasn't a Native I have, Josh. American. I've never heard of this before. 
How the hell do y'all not know Iron Eyes Cody? He said he old as Ooh. Look, he said he old as Iron fuck. Eyes Cody. He said he old as fuck. He never heard of it. I ain't he, never heard of it. He's the canoe. Before. He's the native with the canoe. He's going through. Yeah, I ain't it. never heard of that before. How do you? <laughs> 40. Okay, that explains it then. That explains it. All right, so when y'all are done, I want you to understand the assignment. Go Google Iron Eyes Cody. Now, all right, I'm a wrestling fan. So very name, another, name another movie. I know I don't know it. Name another movie. You just named six movies, yo. Do you know who Little Bear is? Oh my Indian, God. Little Bear. Indian in the cover. Yes. Okay. He's a real Native American. Indian in the cover was lit. Yeah, and it was a good damn movie, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, not at the museum. Those were a lot of the real Native Americans in there. All right, the one with Robin Williams, where he had the Pocahontas. There you go. Yeah. We get back into something. Gotta, they were real Native Americans. We get back right. in, in this galaxy. But but before that, I'm gonna take you oh out of the six one six back into the nine twenty eight. Back in the eighties and the seventies and the sixties, they did not hire real Native Americans for that shit. You know, they, they literally had a That's Italian. a good laugh. I need that one. A couple of wrestlers. <laughs> that, <laughs> you know, Friday, nigga. God damn. A, a couple of wrestlers We're like, we like, did not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying right now. I can't stop crying. <laughs> a couple of wrestlers were not native, Woo. but they were playing native. And then real wrestlers that were native were um, like uh, Chief Wahoo McDaniel. I know him. He was a real native. Yeah, um, he looked Jared like Brisco, it. he was a native. Well, natives, depending on your location and how close you are to the equator, that's where your skin tone comes in or how mixed you are. I got you. So there are some wrestlers who were real natives and there are some wrestlers who were not. They were past the natives. That's crazy. Some of them were Italian. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. I'm that's sorry crazy. if I hurt anybody's wrestling feelings there because I'm a wrestling <sighs> fan. But, you know, a lot of the shit, they So they Razor kind of Ramon awesome. was it? Native? Razor Ramon, I believe, is Spanish, and if he's Mexican, he's still native. Because Mexicans are native. Razor Ramon. Alright. However, I do believe that Razor Ramon might actually be Italian. I don't think he's I actually think he's Spanish. Italian. No. Because his real name is Scott. He's probably Hall. not even Italian. He's probably from New York. New York. I mean, well, either or his real name is Scott Hall. Salute to Razor Ramon, because he was a badass. Still a badass. But um, you know, with the lie of cultural appropriation and cultural appreciation there is a small difference i don't do either just so i don't fucking offend anybody all right but what what have you been watching lately what is a, a, i don't know if i want to ask on TV? what is a new movie what is some new music that you listening to or something like that yeah what are Dude, you watching i ain't been doing shit but studying for exams i have an exam that i have to find on the computer tonight i went to prison on monday went to prison yeah for a tour you got locked that, up. That, that, hell no. Nah. That, but I know that that's not the place I want to be. The doorway <laughs> is this small. It's like, <sighs> fuck that. You know, I thought I cured my claustrophobia. I was wrong. I'm still scared of elevators. But the, the, the isolation room, I'm like, dude, this shit's smaller than my ass. You got to walk in that bitch sideways. I'm like, no, fuck that shit. That's for like solitary. It's like, man, my teacher took me there and we all sit here and we explored the Almar County facility. Yeah, I'm I like, you know what? COVID, oh, oh no. Nah. Going I, up in the gut. I, I got my mask and you I'm got in the motherfucker. And we couldn't go in there without him. We, you can't go into the facility without that shit. You, you running naked. And out I'm here, like, boy, man, you don't care nothing about fuck. COVID, do you? Yes, oh, yes, I do. I'm fully you vaccinated ain't you and you I got my booster. Look, look, you ain't barebacking, are you? Oh, no. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Wrong, you go wrong. You know, you know what I mean by barebacking, right? No, I do not. When you when you go somewhere, you should have a mask on and you don't. Oh, no. Same thing as going bareback. Anywhere. Pull it out. No. Pull out. You pull out that. Anywhere. Woo-hoo-hoo. I got a fuck ton of these you bitches got, in my car. Those called the whitey tighties. Yeah. yeah. Look, look, I got those mine. called the whitey tighties. Yeah. Look, I ain't got mine on me. But yeah, I, I don't go nowhere without this motherfucker. Nah, I don't, either. Man, I don't man, go yeah. nowhere that's without some real shit. shit. That's why the first thing I, I addressed when I got here. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga Josh. <laughs> Boy, crazy. But yeah, I, I have, um, you know, it's not so much for me. It's more, I don't want to bring shit home. No. Oh, yeah. No, nah, fuck that. You know, I don't shit, want shit happens. Fuck that. Nope. Shit. If anything, they're going to kill us. God damn the dog. But um, plus, our dogs have really bad gas. <laughs> Hold up, real bad. What? Gas. That? No, you don't have to. They, they funk up rip, the house. They rent. They, 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 they rent the house up. I said so to somebody the other day, I was like, man, that COVID shit kills them. They was like, oh, <laughs> that's what I told them. 
<laughs> they what they try to do. You know, well, this uh, that's the real unhealthy ones that you know got underlying conditions. I was that like, no, nah. healthy people. I was like, I don't give a fuck. That what you trying to so just like, I think it's a, I think I wanna, it's I think it's designed to kill some niggas. I'm gonna tell you for what. real, because I'm, 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 I'm a lot of us older. off, bro. No, because I'm, I'm gonna give y'all some conspiracy, y'all down with some conspiracy shit. Hell yeah, we love conspiracy. Right, y'all love conspiracy. You already know. Are, are y'all old enough to remember the drink Squirt? Whoa, you remember that shit? Yeah, what is it? Was it green? Squirt? Yeah, I think it was yeah. like yellowish green yeah, yeah, or some yeah, shit. Yeah. Um, because the commercial is like you're parched, and you have a nice cold squirt waiting for you, I unless like some perched announcer gets to it first. Well, a lot of people had a conspiracy on that, and this is not mine. This is one I've been rumored to have. They said the squirt was made to sterilize people of color. And unfortunately, I think I heard that before, it's, it's, a cheap, it's a cheap soda. So everybody was buying that shit, and it didn't matter what damn color you were. It looked like a Mountain Dew. Yeah, yep. exactly. It looked just like a Mountain Dew. See, I don't like Mountain Dew. That's why I only drunk squirt one time. But once I heard that shit, I stopped drinking soda after I, I got my drink. kidney stones. They stabbed. got me after Red Fusion. They probably yeah. got, I, I think Red Fusion so got no. me. So I don't touch sodas at all now. Me neither. When I had my kidney stones, because that's when we was filming Fallen Dragons, I had my kidney stones, because all I drank was Sprite. Tea. It, no, I drank tea now. Uh, all I drank then was Sprite. Back in the day. He lying, y'all cap. No, no, no Sprite. <laughs> say cap. I drank Sprite like it was water, and I got kidney stones and I couldn't pee, and that's the only day I missed the filming. I remember that's the only day I missed the filming, and I was like, you know what? I ain't touched no more soda after that shit, and now, I you cannot know, pass do is a, to stay my do life. Is the crack of damn soda. Well, see, his thing about Mountain Dew. Yeah, I drank the Josh red Mountain Dew. Me and Josh said that long time ago. Yeah, that's the crack of soda. I drank yeah. the red Mountain, Mountain Dew. Dew. I drunk the purple Mountain Dew. I've never drunk that green shit. That green shit is the I've crack. I've never drunk that green. That shit, shit. It's like coffee. Yeah. Everybody I know and people of color and my boss who is not a person of color, they drank the shit out of that. That shit, that shit kill you. You can't go in my boss office without Mountain Pepsi Dew. Pepsi is loaded. the one though. No, that's not, that's my mother's elixir. One I don't drink two. that shit. Pepsi Mountain Dew. Pepsi well, ain't they Pepsi made by the same goddamn work, people? It's when Mountain Dew. You, you want a Mountain, Mountain Dew? Mountain Dew. You at the house, you go drink a Pepsi. Yep. Fuck that. I'll take tea. That's what they do, man. I'll take tea. I'll take water. Yep. No coffee. No coffee. And I, I, I ain't coffee. talking about a little bit. No, no they, all, they'll drink them until they can't. Yo, you ever go, yeah, you ever go to, uh, like, the Kroger or something, and you see, like, this big white woman, and she <laughs> got all these Pepsis or Coke or sodas, like, stack the fuck up in the cart. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, god I, damn. Yeah, I definitely saw that before. You smiling on my mom? Are you smiling on my mom? Uh, you look kind of like us. Like Cause <laughs> no, no, I know you fucking with me, but my mom will like if it's a Pepsi on sale at one food line, she will send Stacy and myself uh, you know what, to the though? other food lines and get them bitches on sale, and then send us like the virus up, up and go get all this fucking Pepsi. I'm like, how much Pepsi do they you fucking sell. need? I mean, what the fuck is in this shit? Cause I don't drink that shit. I will not drink Pepsi. Fuck that shit. I'm that not shit drinking will anything that I can't kill you. It's worse than alcohol. I believe it. Damn. Now let me explain why I don't it, drink it, Pepsi. The, the, fuck the you battery up. acid off a month. Fuck you up. Yeah. I don't drink Pepsi. I don't drink Dr Pepper. This shit'll fuck you up, man. And this is a Kegler story. Cause I was working at Kegler's when this happened. I had two co-workers that worked in the kitchen. They did the cooking and shit. I did the dishwashing. I'm sorry, Daryl and Pete. I don't remember your last names, but now your first names are out. He snitched. So, yep. Daryl was it. the main cook. Pete was the backup cook. And I saw Pete fucking with somebody's drink, but I didn't know whose drink it was. Now, he wasn't doing anything nasty. He was just putting all kinds of spices and shit in there. And you know, like, nah, as a kid. Nah, you don't fucking know by drink, period. Exactly. Anyway. But as a kid, you know, I used to do dumb shit like that. You know, I would, like, oh, pour shit in my to, sodas and stuff trying, just to oh, see what the shit oh, would Oh, you do it to like. yourself. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. But I thought that that was his drink. Now, so I ain't say nothing. I ain't know it wasn't his drink. I found out, though. I found out. So Pete fucked up Daryl's drink. In turn, Daryl fucked up my drink because I ain't say shit. And I was like, dude, I didn't even know it wasn't your drink. Well, now, what you said fucked up, how was it? He put cayenne, pepper, and all kinds of shit in my drink. Oh. That's why I started drinking Sprite. Because you can see to the bottom of Sprite. That's when you nip that shit in the bud. Like, hold that's, up, nigga. No, bitch, you no. ain't put no... No, that's when, you beat his, that's when you beat his ass. And that would have been possible... Had I had thought about that shit at the time, but I ain't gonna lose my fucking job. And he was 25 and I was 16. And as good as I am, I ain't cocky and I ain't stupid. No, I know when to fight and I know when to shut the fuck up. All right? When you're dealing with a grown ass man and you just a boy, shut the fuck up. You can't get lucky. 
You can't get lucky. You can you can stumble onto an old man who can't fight with you. <laughs> Are you really willing to take that fucking chance though? Cause a cocky motherfucker's a dead motherfucker if he ain't careful. No, it's just that simple. You know, and I've been fighting all my fucking life, but I ain't been stupid. I pick my battles very wisely. That's why I made the 48 without dying. But you know, I turned up the Pepsi and then I threw up the Pepsi. <sighs> there was cayenne pepper, regular pepper. <sighs> yeah, that's an ass woman. Fucking um <sighs> Salt. It's an instant um, ass. What's that? Um, those green things that look like lettuce. I don't Parsley. know what. The, yeah, that shit. All that shit was in the bottom of my drink. Hold up, motherfucker! You still drunk this shit? That I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I didn't see it until I got to the bottom. That's a whole lot of shit you could not see. Yeah, couldn't smell it either. That's the bad part. Cause cayenne pepper burns. <laughs> he knew what he was doing. Yeah, he's done this. Before. He worked in the kitchen. God, damn. No, <laughs> I just washed the fucking dishes. Are you he's sure? Pro, that's all. I don't. You just picked some shit up and get to your nose. You know, hold the fuck up. Yeah, you would think that, but it wasn't as much cayenne pepper as all the rest of that shit was. It kind of drowned that shit out. <sighs> but I'm sitting here and I'm like, what the fuck? And I spewed it everywhere, cause he spewed it everywhere. The only person that walked away that day was Pete. And they walked away with nothing. And he's like, why you ain't Man, say nothing? I was like, dude, I thought that, that was died pizza that day, no doubt. No, the only time I ever seriously got in trouble at Kegler's was when my ex-girlfriend who broke up with me over the phone while I was at work. No, I got a rebuttal to that one. She, you um, <laughs> fuck that. She almost got me fired. Three days later, but his cars were been flat. At least one of them. I didn't know what he drove. I give a fuck. I'm gonna find. We, we about to find out what, where you live at. <laughs> fuck. <Yeah. laughs> I'm about well, to get your ass. Yeah. And I threw up like at matter work. Fact, matter of fact, you matter, matter of fact, when you send your dog out to take a shit, that nigga gone. <laughs> God. No, no. Yeah, that's we, <laughs> we, we do not bring home to innocent animals. <laughs> you know. I'm, all, I'm not gonna take out. I'm gonna kill his ass. Oh my God. Hell no. Hell no. I'm gonna no. kill his ass. No, no, no. I'm no. about to get your ass, no. motherfucker. <laughs> You, you you forgot I'm part native, right? Oh, don't you, give a I, fuck. I'm not going through that no, hell. No, you, fucking you with fucked up and you got me. Yeah, well, if I got you, yeah, you can no, fuck no, up. No, 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 I'm saying when he got you, that's when he fucked up. No, yeah, he, but see, he's not getting thing. no second chances. N nah. I'm going to get his like ass. I said, just shoot him in his leg. I'm I was a teenager and I let that shit go. No, no, I that's threw why, up at that's work. That's why I was dog up. I stopped drinking shit at work that I couldn't see through the bottom. Nope. No. I was right. was all I Like Josh said. You nip that shit in the bud by getting his that one ass. time. He, he will not he, fuck he with anybody else after that. that. Only people who did was originally How to stay there was me, Daryl. Hell no. I wish I would have been 21. I wouldn't have been working there. You were no. 16. I was 16. We I ain't was know in high you, school. You couldn't contract somebody? You know what the fuck that mean? Like to, to you know tune, that, tune that nigga? Okay. Maybe you forgot the part that our general manager was the guy fucking my mother when I hold was on, a child. On. That's what I'm it, trying to say. Hold on. You no, go no. out in the street he, and you find... He wasn't on my side ever. No. He got me that job I'm just to I'm saying that you go in the street no. and you get some funds together and you... <laughs> I yeah. want that kind of person. What? I want that kind of person. He's riding went, to him and hitting him with I your bike. I went to work. <laughs> I had a car. <laughs> <laughs> well, you be riding the bike, then you can't hit him with a car. I, I had a car. Ride the bike and like. But you really want to fuck with it. See, what you do is you take a nail and you put one in the front of the tire, one in the back of the tire. You do all four tires, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. So look, so no. Look, 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 no. Oh, fuck, Yo. his tire's leaking. Yo, this nigga, <laughs> this nigga has done that shit before, so he had to say. I'm, 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 Fully say this, women, please don't take this offensive. That shit's a bitch move. Uh, I don't give a and, fuck. Matter of fact, I, I got that's a nobody. bitch move. Hold, 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 up, hold, up, hold, hold up, hold up. Matter of fact, go get a roof in there. You know, roof in there is about this long, right? Yeah, they you got them big ass hands, so that motherfucker gonna stay right there. Yo. I'm not <laughs> fucking with nobody's vehicle. I'm not fucking with nobody's vehicle, yo. He's done this before. Yeah. Yeah. Clearly, hey, man. Fuck what before. you do to the dogs. <laughs> You, you, you can do what you want with the dogs because they're not mine. I am against pets. 
<laughs> I am against pests in the worst <laughs> way. If you have to okay, get a pet, okay, fuck it then. It's a tie. It's one at a time. Get, get a goldfish. One at a time. That shit cost me money. One at a time. I that one you go just, flat today. Just, just punch two days me in the later, face. next one go flat. Nope. <laughs> I will let you punch me in the face before I let you. And look, it by that, and look, by that time you gonna have two going flat at the same time. I'm about to now, get your now, ass. That shit is expensive. Yeah. I would rather take a hit. Hold on, hold on. You gotta understand that he can get a plug. No, fuck that shit. That shit is expensive. Nah. I'm poor. You made you made me puke up on some shit you put in my drink. That is a bitch move. Yeah, that is. Okay. But I'm not gonna fuck with his vehicle. Nah, you about to get got. Nah. Uh, now see, I was really young at the time. <laughs> Nobody will do that shit to me while I'm grown. But I'm still not gonna fuck up their vehicle. Now Man, if you me, gonna, today but, is today's time. You're gonna play dirty, fuck it. You yeah, but well I ain't gonna dirty, fuck with dirty. the vehicle. I ain't gonna fuck oh, with the vehicle. I'm about to get you because I can't I can't touch you. Because yeah. I don't want to go to jail. But, hey, hold on. Hold so on. So I can't, I mean. Y yes, you can. I know I can't. Yeah, hold on. You got to prove that shit. Man, I'm prove, not going to do this shit. They got to prove that you did it. Yeah. So here, here's here's something I learned in the Army. Okay. Sock party, motherfucker. Dark alley in a sock party. Battle's done. A battle's no, done. No bruises and no DNA. Because I'm not leaving none of that shit behind. No. Uh, unless the sack break, you know. So basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a whole bunch of soap in a sock. Yup. And you're gonna beat that fucking ass over the head. Mm. Or I mean, sock part is you got. Nah, you gonna do better none. than that, man. You, you can got. use a you pillowcase. Want, you wanna get one of them goddamn? No, wild I got smoke for getting those cases. You gonna get one of them wine on bottles? Got about like that thick them 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 wine nah, bottles. Nah, because that's thick, gonna them cut. No, but hold on though. No, what you gonna do is you gonna put more like three of them motherfuckers in a in a pillow, right? Pillowcase. Yeah. And you gonna fuck his ass. Nah, I don't want him to bleed. Cause I gotta take that shit back with me. See, if I get his blood on my shit, they can track that. So fuck that shit. It's it, it, <laughs> if I just use the pillowcase and a fuck ton of zestfully clean socks and soap, socks. I'm gonna get away. Cause I'm putting them in the socks. Oh, okay. well, you know, like sure. some jail shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's also some military shit. So I got my company smoked one time cause I got transferred from Bravo to Delta. I had been there long enough to know the cadences. These motherfuckers was new. I didn't know they didn't know the cadences, and I sung the wrong cadence. I did not get invited to a sock party because they didn't know the cadences. However, there's like, yo, why you just like we ain't know no motherfucking like, movies you was naming, but, nigga. But, but, they don't well, know your I'm cadence. They don't fuck. know your move. <laughs> that's God damn. I'm old as fuck. But the, um, the drill sergeant just made us carry rocks, like <coughs> fucking gigantic ass rocks, like that fucking box like that. He made us like march back and forth 25 times down the fucking road. Oh, y'all some shit slaves. Back. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and after you put the rocks down, everybody had to do 50 push-ups and take a lap. God damn. And we ain't talking like the standard push-ups. You know, it's like one, two, three, one. Yeah. And you got to do that shit 50 times. God damn. Then you get up Woo. and then you run. That's like so, 300 push-ups. God when, damn. When I say I am not in shape, <laughs> trust me, I am not in shape. I'm God in fair damn. shape now, God but I was in the damn. best shape of my life when I was in the army. I'd have got a sack party that day. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> you fuck that. You would have been the guy that would have said fell down the steps. I'd have socked, they socked me up. That's no, fuck I got that. it, man. No, no fuck that. I went like this. I got to go. I resigned. I resigned. You can't. I'm good. You can't. I'm good. It, it's two ways out of the army. What's that? Honorable discharge, dishonorable discharge. Fuck it. Graduation. Dishonorable. I'm good. Look, 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 look. What is what is like I never went? So fuck it. Well, that's that's fine if you never went, but I'm gonna tell no, you. No, 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 you don't like, understand what I'm saying. It's just like I never went. Well, see, nah, cause <laughs> it, that's that's what they all think until you get out. You see, and that, then what happened? Try to get a they job. They fuck you when it comes to getting a job. Uh. So yeah. you don't want a dishonorable discharge. Uh, if you trying to get, get anything a, if, for if real. You get a, um, Nigga looking for you, you trying to get a house, it, and he looking at you. Yeah. If you, um, I serve my country. My if you dad get a, served this country. Other than honorable discharge, they can't fuck with you. But if you get an honorable discharge, they really can't fuck with you. Hey. Uh, if you get a hey. dishonorable discharge, they throw the books at you. F fuck my boy up. Fuck my boy up. Yeah. Muhammad Ali up. He yep. said, I ain't fighting that white man's war. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But that's the thing. With, with, Yo, with they honorable discharge, the yep. they, they look out for you. Let me, let me redo that. They look out for you. Where a dishonorable discharge, they look out for you by trying to fuck you and make sure you don't get shit. All right? That's why when they start Which doing their vaccine, get? I got an honorable discharge. I can't shoot with shit. I fail you to adapt. <laughs> so, yeah. I didn't get to qualify with my rifle. You can't shoot, yo. Fuck no. You scared of the gun, ain't you? No. Yep. It's it was like, ah! <laughs> okay. yep. So, to, to, yep. to shorten that, what happened was my hip was fucked up and we have to lay on the prone position. Okay. I didn't know my hip was fucked up. 
I thought it was my knees, because that's what the doctor said, it's your knees. God damn, you can't feel it, your hip from your knee? No, it wasn't. I'm one of them fucking people. All right. So if I put you in your face, you gonna feel it in your face? No, I'm gonna feel that shit in my face. Oh. But I fell in a hole and fucked up my knee. Mm. My knee swole up like this big, like Man. it was a fucking cantaloupe. So I went to sick call the next day and they said it was my knee. So they gave me x-rays. Weeks later, my knee was already formed, but I could still feel pain. But I wasn't feeling it in just my knee. I was feeling it my whole leg. So they kept sending me to these places. They couldn't find nothing wrong with me. So when I get out, I'm still in pain. So McGuire found my hip. Fort Bennett dropped the ball. I went to McGuire. They, um, they went in there and it's like, all right, dude, you have bone spurs. Your knee's fucked up, but you should not be in the pain that you're mentioning. Because my pain's all the way up here. So I thought they had a bloody ulcer. And it's like, all right, we're going um, to run some tests on you. So they made me drink this shit to take a shit. And I couldn't flush the toilet because they had to go in there and God do all this damn. stuff. It's, it's a really fucked up, complicated situation. And so I do all that, clean myself off, leave the toilet alone, put the disposable, you know, you got to wipe your ass. God so damn. I put that on that thing because it has to, it can't go in the trash. It has to go in a certain spot. So I come out, <laughs> I'm good. And the doctor comes by and doctors are fucking <laughs> assholes. All right. All you doctors, I love you, but you're asshole. So, <laughs> the doctor comes out, he says, I have bad news and I have worse God news. Damn. Yeah, let's get so past like, that point. Okay, so give me the worst news first, because I think I have an ulcer. Like, all right, so how many months do I have? To can die. it be fixed or am oh. I going to die? Now, damn, my dad you is went all the way to me. the. Fuck yeah, it's an ulcer. That shit can kill people. Oh, shit. So, my dad's sitting beside me. And he taking it worse than I'm taking it. Because I'm like, you know, well, fuck it. You know, when I joined the army, I already knew I was signing up to die. So when we all gonna die. And my dumb ass got infantry. So we already knew I was a bullet catcher. So the doctor goes, the bad news is you don't have an ulcer. I said, okay. Damn. So what's wrong with my stomach? There's nothing wrong with your stomach. The worst news is yeah, you need a fucking hip and you need it yesterday. So what the fuck you mean? The army said it was my knee. The army dropped the ball, son. It's not your knee. It's your fucking hip. Those bone spurs should not be causing you this problem. So we got the x-ray. Most of my left ass cheek was deteriorated. So they had to put extra shit in in my 18 hour you got surgery. You ass cheek. A metal ass cheek? Yes, I have a metal ass Damn. cheek with extra stuff and an extra screw. <laughs> but, um... Only thing I remember about the surgery was the chicks were wearing very beautiful purple stuff. But, um, fucking the fact that my father thought that I was going to die fucked him up, you know. And he died, like, not too long after my hip replacement. But prior to that, the doctor was talking all kinds of bad shit. And he's like, so before we can cut you open, you have to go get cut open. You got to get your wisdom teeth removed, even though they were perfectly fine. You got to get that chip tooth removed or your ass is going to die on the table. No, that's it's right. Like, how the fuck am I down the table? Infection. We're not going to touch you until you go spend $1,000 oh, to get right. all that yep. shit done. That is what they say. That's no, it. That's real. Yeah, that is real. So they, yep. they made me go get all my teeth in the back removed. They got my chip tooth removed. Yep. I paid $1,000 to get a partial. I'm not wearing it right now because I only wear it when, I, when a woman is involved so I can have a pretty smile. So then um, I got all that shit done and I had the hip replacement. I was up in two days. No. But I was like, you know what, man? It took me like three and a half Let's years. Let's talk to get about back the drugs drugs. that you was on in there. Oh hell no! Let's talk about that. <laughs> did you become an addict when you was in there? Cause I did. I, you, no. I go. I become no. an addict every time I go to the hospital. I, I did am. not become an addict. Dope but up. I will tell you that I will never, ever, ever, as long as I live, want to take any more fucking hospital medication. I was on some shit. The first shit I was on, the dreams Morphine. were, I don't know what the shit oh, the was dreams, like. Don't, the dreams is crazy. The dreams. The, dr the nightmares. Yeah. They, they scared me to fucking Yeah, death, they scared yeah. me too. And, and the fact that I slept for 14 hours. I was like, when, when, I can't wake up. But the, the fucked up part is I slept for 14 hours, never pissed on myself. Never shitted on myself. Got up, ate, went to the bathroom, back to sleep. Then you shit me. Nope. Never had that problem. So I talked to the doctor and said, look, yo, I'm sleeping too much. I'm like, really sleeping too much, and I'm having these really fucked up ass dreams. Yeah, yeah. So then they gave me something else. I wasn't sleeping as much, 
but the dreams was like I'm a super smacked out crackhead from hell. So I have a walker and that walker turned into an Iron Man suit. I went to every strip club that I've ever visited in Canada. Yes, that is a confession. I went to a lot of strip clubs in Canada. I killed every stripper that I could see. Now this is messed up because I really love strippers and I would never shoot a stripper. But I turned into Iron Man. I was spraying strippers and these dreams had me so shook that I would get up the next morning and get on the computer and start looking on the news. It's like, okay, I was in Toronto last night. Let me go to Toronto news and see if anybody got killed. I was in Montreal. I've never been to Montreal. I've only been to Toronto. But in my dream, I was in Montreal and I killed like 90 strippers. And I was like, oh fuck, Montreal Daily Gazette. Man, I you talked said to it was the doctor. Some drugs, don't fuck with yeah. that shit no more. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no worries. No worries. God damn. So then. I, 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 I literally seen, I seen God. Like, they, God they, touched me. They like, put me on a different drug. I felt that shit. Like, this drug was like a small combo of the two. That. I think it's real. Oh, I'm not going to doubt you about that. Yeah. The dreams weren't bad. They was mostly dreams of darkness. And it, it was, I wasn't killing anybody, but all I dreamed is I was just trapped in a dark area. God just damn. Every dream, that was dark. Dark, dark, dark. And then I slept like maybe seven hours only, which wasn't bad, but the pain was not reduced. So it's like, all right, well, I, I give up. On the night, drugs? Night, yeah, my left leg still hurt like God fuck. God damn. The other two drugs, there was no pain. Yeah. There was like no fucking pain. Are you pain. good now? Um, I'm, I have moments where I have a little twinge or whatever, but it, it comes with the shit I do. I did a martial art video today, so of course I'm going to be in pain. Gotcha. But um, every time I do martial arts, if I don't do martial arts, I hurt. That might not make sense to everybody, oh, but no, if right. I don't do martial arts, my oh, left leg hurts like a motherfucker. I got a whole re- so rebuild shoulder it's, it's um. I guess it's psychosomatic, rebuild knee. but um, the fucking, like, if, if I don't work out, I feel the pain and I can't sleep and I try to heat and pad, none of that shit works. When I do work out, I sleep like a baby, you know, but if I don't, it's like 10,000 needles stabbing me. And then because I have a hip, I used to be able to sleep on my back properly. I toss and turn every night. I do not have a comfortable sleeping okay, position man, at all. Of, just cut the way off. You no, we're good. I mean, what if the it. aliens come and one of their machines is they come around and they they got a machine where they suck out each uh back, you know metal part in your body like, zoo, is, and they just is, rip it out. They gonna is, rip your shoulder out. Is it gonna <laughs> is it gonna replace what I got or I'm just no? Gonna it's like just gonna rip gimp. it out. It's gonna rip it out. It's like a magnet. I'm fucked. It's a big magnet. They gonna rip your whole ass cheek off. <laughs> My kneecap <laughs> gonna pop out, my hand gonna pop out. It ain't just my ass cheek, dude. That hey. shit is all the way into my face. Oh yeah, you gone. You gone. Ain't no coming back from that. <laughs> that shit is like like this long. That the whole thing from the ass to like right up in there. That yeah. shit's done. And it's like a sharp spike. So I was like, yeah, fuck that shit. Yeah. What yeah. they put into your side your bone? Yeah. Yeah. So they I guess they had to split it and fuse it or whatever the fuck. So it's in the bone and the muscle. So I'm like, oh, fantastic. Alien did that. Yeah. That's what I, well, did. I was out for 18 hours, so it could have happened. 18 Yeah, I was hours. out. I was out. Oh, you think like, that's bad? Hours. When you had to get your knee or anything, did they make you scrub with that fucking brush thing? It's got soap around it, but it's like a brush. It's oh, like yeah, a Brillo yeah, pad, yeah, but it's a brush. Yeah. Try washing your whole body with that bitch before oh, having yeah. to get... And top that off, you have to sterilize your clothes the night before. No, so, they do it different now. Thank God. But they I had to sterilize my clothes. They give you the soap, the special soap called antibacterial, some bullshit. Right. bullshit. Well, this was antibacterial, and but I, I had to exfoliate with the shit. You do this shit for like seven days before you go to surgery. And by the time you go in there, your skin feel like some, like, like, it don't even feel like skin. Like you have no oil or some shit. Damn. Damn. It makes you, it make your whole, you got to do your whole body. You I, I, like you just said. No, no, no. Hell no, no. Uh-uh. no. no and then they make, they'll tell you like the day, two days before you, they want you to wear, they want you to, I was like, who the fuck don't They do want this? you to wear a lot of shit that doesn't cause static friction. They want you to wear clean shit. drawers and clean shit. Well, you, well, you know, when we you know, wash, they don't want nothing against do your that. skin that's like dirty. Yeah. Like that's yeah. what they want you to do. Which goes back and to And they like when you go to the hospital, they like, did you do you, d- yep. And if you don't do that shit, they be like and, and when I say sterilize, I don't mean just wash. They want you to wash it in hot water and then yep. they want you to put like the, the, no. the, the what's this what they do these days. Some shit in you, there. you they want you to get in the shower, they want you to do it. Then they want you to sh- shower regular soap. 
Then they yeah. want you to shower, shower that shit again. again. Yeah. I'll be like, God damn. They, wouldn't even they want you to do a whole myself. seven days like that. They wanted me that one day I had to go in. It's like you two know, hours that like before Josh? you go in. I need a You're body going to part. shower. No, they want. They, uh, they actually do my whole, part. a whole body. You ain't got nothing small enough. They want to do the. They, I had to do the whole body. Actually, you did. This was a shower shower. So my bar of soap was this big. The thing around it was a fucking bristle brush type shit, and it's like one of them hardcore brushes and shit. And I'm like, yeah, damn. And I was red as fuck by the time I got in the shower. Too. Yeah. And then after that, when I got this, like you had your shower and everything, yeah, you got sterilized clothes, yeah, okay, well, here's what's gonna happen. In about five minutes, we're gonna gash your ass. When you wake up, you'll have a new hip. Yep. It's like, what? It's like, yeah, in five minutes, we're gonna gash you, we're gonna have an anesthesiologist, we're not gonna stick nothing in you until you're out. That is no it's lie, like, that's how what? I did it. That's so what, what are you sticking in me besides the new hip? Well, we gotta give you a needle because I uh, don't know if that's part of the anesthesia or whatever the fuck, but it's like, we're gonna, we're gonna gash you first. Look, they was, your, uh, when they did gonna, me, they were smooth, I need to man. shit at you in something else. They were smooth. They was like, all right. The nurse was like, all right, Mr. Johnson, you ready? Were your nurse is pretty? Huh? Were your nurse is pretty? Hell oh, I, I okay. can't talk about it because she made she made it real. I'm sorry. She was like, well, she was like, then she got behind the little thing, stopped pushing. We was talking. She was like, well, um, you can be all right. You know, and, 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 you know I, I thought this was for, for real. I thought it was just oxygen. I ain't know. You know, I just, you know. No, no, look. She put that shit on me, man. No doubt. For, for real, for real. Three to five is max. Next thing you know, I woke up. That shit was done. Don't yeah. remember shit. Don't felt any felt shit. You was groggy as fuck, wasn't it? I woke up feeling good. Oh, you high? I mean, high as gas. I mean, like a like a kind of high where it's like um, nothing I've ever had. Like, yeah. yeah. And, and, it just felt good. And, and, and when you wake up, when that like, shit wore off, my God. Well, before it wears off, it's like being born again. God damn. Yeah. But I had to go that's when the detox. pain is like, Whoa! oh. I wasn't in pain when I woke up. Huh? You, had, you had morphine? You had Demerol? Wait, I don't you know what fentanyl? the fuck they gave me. I had fentanyl. I had all them shit. Wait, did you really? Yeah. I ain't, uh -uh. When I woke what up, the fuck did I, have? I asked him. I said, what you giving me? I didn't have pain until they took the catheter out. Oh, yeah. That was, a after yeah, that, I was like, ah. Uh, that's a whole nother issue. Woo, yeah, we can keep recording. I got to go take a piss. Woo. Man, hey, look. Y'all know this, the weather, man, cross country. The weather is crazy. Yeah. The weather's crazy, yeah. man. Like tomorrow, they say it's gonna be. They say tomorrow's gonna feel like a for real seventy. Oh yeah, I mean the day was seventy. No, they, this they new, say tomorrow gonna feel like a for real seventy. This is what we call pneumonia weather. Definitely. At least country people do. Yeah. Like my mama's people. That's why you gotta but, wear that mask. Yeah. <laughs> I have my jacket. I've been outside all day. Felt like it was like no winter around whatsoever. And then I was like, wait till we get into the middle of December. And God says, we to give us December. the finger. I don't consider this the middle of December until Christmas Day. And y'all better watch out for that thief in red. Damn. Damn. What I did read, they said in January, we're about to get fucked up. January and February. They said we about to have winter winter. As long as it's over by March, because I don't want to miss cosplay. That's what they said. But yeah, they said well, January we, and February, about to, but we about to have some weather weather. We get, what, maybe every five to seven Dude, years we get a bad time. winter. What was it? Then you got your car there. Huh? My who? I'm talking to Josh. Oh, my So man. he probably glad he got that car you got up there where you at. Yeah. Yep. Well, I can tell you now, my job is in walking distance. So I can walk to work if worse come to worse. It's not the first time I've had to do that. So, uh, my yellow car broke down. <laughs> I've had to walk from work. I've, I've broke down at work, which is actually worse than breaking down at home. Because at least if you break down at home, you're at home. When you break down at work and you have to leave your car at your job overnight, that shit fucking sucks. And my job's on Cherry Avenue. So, you know, that's not the safest place I want to leave my Honda. So at least if it breaks down at work, I got a way to get the shit, you know, because it's only like a block from my house. But at the same time, I'm like, man, fuck that. Too many fucking hood rats be over there at a certain part at a certain store. And I like my shit not to be destroyed. But, you know... Fucking, I will say that breaking down is bad. No, real bad. Breaking down is bad. So my brother sent me a, uh, how is a, he, by the way? Interview. Um, you know he's straight. He got, you know, got my two he, little he, nephews. He, yeah, he's busy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got a picture of one of them. I was like, yeah. When did this happen? 
Oh. It's like, yeah, this is playing. It's like, oh. He went, this, whoever this dude is, Ron Johnson, he went in on Dr. Fauci. Okay. Like 10 Who? minutes straight, right? And, uh, yeah, t- damn, 30 minutes. 30 minutes straight. God damn. Talking about, like, how this nigga is, like, just boosting up about COVID. Like, okay. Over, over playing it, making niggas scared for no reason. Like, uh, I'm on the fence on all that shit. If you want to like, truth. like saying like, like that, he was talking about the army crime. You know what I'm saying? He said, I'm crying. Not even that bad. You know, that shit, the, these many numbers and stuff like that. Then he took it back to the eighties. He was like, even in the eighties, he said that AIDS was, uh, I ain't giving him that. You know, AIDS was AIDS taking out everybody. <laughs> Gay you know straight, saying? everybody. AIDS wasn't nothing. Shit. Like we, we, you know, we good. I'm going to ask you both this question. Because I'm older than you, so a younger perspective would actually do me some good. Do y'all believe, because this was also a conspiracy, that AIDS is a government disease? Yes. You believe it too? Because yeah. I believe it. I believe it. You? All right, well, let me ask you this. Now, this is the part where I'm going to get a lot of people upset. I'm sorry. I'm going to apologize to you now, because a lot of people are probably going to write in go. on this one These section. These are James's views. All right. Jay Heavy. I'm sorry. Somebody I'm going to say this. I don't give a flying fuck. Magic Johnson does not have fucking AIDS. All right? Y'all can say what you want. This motherfucker did this shit to be the poster boy to make everybody aware of this shit. And I respect him for that, but I do not believe this motherfucker has AIDS. I love Magic Johnson, and I hope he lives for a long time, but you got to think about how the convenience of this shit is and how the AIDS kind of dropped after a famous person got it. Now everybody's like slow down on the AIDS thing. And now they got these pills where now you can't um, register on the test. I watch enough commercials. I don't know what the damn thing's called, but I don't watch TV like talking about it. But you know, when you sleep at three o'clock in the morning, you'd be surprised at what fucking commercials come on. Um, I think it's like Tavada, Tavoda. It's some shit to start with a fucking T. It says now you can't, um, you can be tested, but it doesn't show up on the thing. And I'm like, okay. See, something ain't right here, but I love Magic Johnson. I, I'm an L.A. Laker fan. But the problem is, he is the longest living person who has HIV and AIDS, and other people who don't have that kind of money just drop. You know, and like pneumonia or the flu kills them. This motherfucker done been alive for like almost 40 some odd years with this shit. You know, I was like, yeah, something doesn't feel right about this yeah, bitch. Yeah, in the back in the day. Because you know, I'm like... But he came out with it between the 90s and the early 2000s, and we're 2021 now. So how much medicine has this motherfucker got stocked up? And again, no disrespect to Magic Johnson, you know. But I strongly don't believe that he has it. I do believe that he was the poster boy and he did that shit for the benefit of everybody. But, I mean, I had an aunt that passed from that shit. So, and she didn't have the money he got, or the medical for that shit, for that matter. But at the same time, you got to remember... One of the most famous people that had AIDS died, had more money than Magic Johnson. They didn't have the treatment back then, but that was the lead singer of Queen, Freddie Mercury. All right? Now, I'm pretty sure Freddie and the group Queen way richer than Magic Johnson. No, and, and that's mostly a skin tone manifestation. All right? Just in case anybody wants to say, oh, no, nah, you're just saying that. Yeah, I'm saying that because they're white. Pure and simple. They're white. I'm sure they had more money than them, and they still got more money than him because they're still alive, still doing concerts, and they're still getting paid. Where he pretty much can't play sports because of this shit, you know? So if you weigh in the pros and cons, because um, who was the other superstar? Will Chamberlain, who also had some kind of disease, and he had mad women. You know, he even wrote a book about the shit. So you're like, all right, if Magic Johnson gets AIDS, all people, especially people of color, they gonna start doing more safe sex shit, though. And if you think about how AIDS has reduced in the people of color's population because of him having it, everybody got their wake up calls like, shit, our idol got it, you know? And then a lot of like backyard chatter on teams about, cause remember he still played when he had it until they acknowledged that he had it. It's like, okay, this motherfucker playing with us, he got AIDS. And everybody start ostracizing them and shit. I'm like, this motherfucker, if he's got AIDS, he's Jesus. Because he's lived very long with that shit. And again, no disrespect to him. That's just something I believe. It's a conspiracy. You know, I like conspiracies. I don't really follow them like completely. But, you know, you just don't know what's out there. 
and it's the same thing like with aliens and Bigfoot. All right, we we brought up aliens. I'll bring up Bigfoot. Do you believe in them? Yeah. Okay, I'm not alone there then. All right, you. He might not believe in him, but I'm gonna tell you this: the only people that has found him are the people who were well, not I believe in aliens, for him. but I don't believe in Bigfoot. What if they're one and the same? No. Okay. See that that that's my problem because I, I don't think that they're one and the same, but a lot of people do, and then they make um, I think they're two different an things. alpha noise. And I think they're two different things too. But a lot of people will say, "I right, well, yeah. wherever there's a Bigfoot, there's been a, a sighting of a UFO prior to that." I'm like. All right, whatever. But then, you know, you have all these shows. You see some UFOs Bigfoot. that was just... I see something about some UFOs. In San Francisco? But, yeah, but I don't know if it was, like, legit UFOs or just misidentified drones and shit. Yeah, I, yeah. I was thinking it was drones, but I was like, can drones go over the clouds? Because it was that in the clouds. That is a good question. But what is the That's flight limit on a drone? Because, you know, the, um, the air traffic controller said that the motherfuckers can fly pretty high. Because literal airplanes have yeah. almost hit them. Oh, yeah, you're right. And literal airplanes are like thousands and thousands of feet. Yeah. But the thing is, literal airplanes, they have like speeds of Mach such and such. I don't know about like jet liners, but I know motherfucking fighter jet, you you, you get Mach 5 on that bitch, you, you're doing something. Because sonic barriers and shit have been broken. But as far as like jet liners, I don't know how fast those motherfuckers can fly. But I know they're pretty high in the sky. So what is the actual facsimile of stoppage for how high a drone can fly, you know? And it's not like they weigh anything, you know? It's not like they really weigh a whole lot of shit. Like, if you mount a camera on there, you, <laughs> you really don't You know drones is a sport? Yeah, you know, they, they um, also, what? you can get a job flying them. Son, it's a sport, yo. For a flying yep. drone? I went, when I went to my uncle um, shop, Celebrity Hemp in Winchester, Virginia, um, Drones Me and Javon, you know, we was in, we had a hotel, so we turned on the TV, turned it on the ESPN, and they had these super fast flying drones. It's just like fucking, um, And you go through this obstacle course, it was just these two guys, it looked unreal. What's the, um, the shit with the machines where they battle each other? This drones is just, it's just like that, but it's not, they're not fighting each other, just like opposite. Put the robot dogs on you. And Fort that's, Benning, that's gonna be a wrap then. They didn't show us anything electronic <laughs> outside of the inside of the yeah. Hummer. They bulletproof. Look, that's like it. on top of their head is a machine gun, it's yeah. a gun or something. So that's what their head is. When, when I was in Benning, head, blow your head. all your we head had stuff. was like the Humvee and tanks. That's the only thing they showed us. Humvee and tanks. No, and these robot dogs went around with got got guns on their on their head. Yeah. I've seen some of those on the YouTube and the TikTok, and I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I don't you seen that post that shit on LinkedIn? Yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah. none of that shit. Same. No. Even, they, but I just seen, but yo, still... I just posted the uh, cop, like a police officer robot. Yeah. Like, it looked like a uh, RD2. Yeah, it was... they're, they're still working on them bitches. You know, once they perfect them, we're going to have problems. It said police on it, and it was police in the area yeah. walking around. Once they perfect them, oh, what we're the going to have problems. What are they trying to do, yo? Yo, what they trying to do, yo? I, I'm going to put it to you this way. I don't trust technology, let alone I don't want no damn robot dog, you know. Hell, I don't want the real dogs, let alone a robot dog. Well, I mean, dog. these robot dogs are not going to be like a regular dog. It's going to be a fucking war machine. Well, here's the thing. And you ain't going to do nothing with that. I'm not trying to deal with that on any level. And, and the fact that they are prototypes now, just just think what they'll do in the next seven or eight Man, years. they're making robots where this motherfucker can dance and do moves and they, what's that kind of move? What's that move you do that look <clears throat> you do the oh, whole damn. Move? That's crazy. That's a whole exosuit. Yeah, I'm not trying to fuck with that. Like at all. See, this is what happens when your freaking guys you hire have watched you aliens no, one too many yeah, times. Yeah, you ain't got nothing to do with the, do what you want to do. They just making shit now. Yeah, but it won't be long before what they make is workable. Imagine Does this arms work and shit, Josh? Everything. Yeah. everything. Everything works. It's, it's, remember Aliens when Sigourney Weaver had that like, thing? It looked instant. That's what that is. The way he was walking and shit, it looked instant. So his, yeah. his movements was... Like right on point? Yeah. Y'all are probably too young to remember the cartoon Exo Squad, but that looks like one of them. No. I don't but know half the movies you don't know. This was a cartoon. Just like Robotech. It was, it was, yeah, uh, late Josh, 90s. Josh, I ain't never heard none of these. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay. First and foremost, I didn't have any friends growing up outside of comic books and cartoons. 
So while y'all was all out doing all the good shit, I was watching Voltron. Well, hell, y'all won out because y'all motherfuckers weren't even born. Damn. But yeah, I had to do it. You heard about Voltron. I don't know nothing about the next split you know, Voltron, like but I know about the real one. Yeah, Gigantor wasn't that bad, except for there was a little Gigantor. boy control. Gigantor. Gigantor, the space age robot, bigger than big, stronger than strong, always fighting against right, against wrong, or some bullshit like that. Yeah, I seen that the other day. That shit right there is freaking creepy. <laughs> that, that, that shit is beyond creepy. No. Is that real? Yeah. yeah. You don't think yeah. then don't... There's, no a, there's a little nerdy guy beside him controlling it. I don't know if he's going to be able to I show that. You. I thing. remember he pushed it on that, put it on that, Josh. LinkedIn yeah. ain't going to put no bullshit on there. Like, the, even the but, facial um, features. I, we talk. We could be talking to a bitch, and it's, a, it's one of these the whole motherfucking time. They have Damn. a TV show um, that was on um, the same channel The Walking Dead. They had something like that. But the robots realized they were sentient and started fighting for their lives or whatever. It's kind of like iRobot, but different. Because there's a very hot girl on there. But I think it went off. I don't know if it was canceled. I just know that it, they stopped showing the shit. But, um, you know, when it comes down to these, these robots and shit, you can't be fucking with shit like that. No. Let's not forget, what if their prime directive fails? No. So, then what do you do? That's some Elon Musk shit, putting that chip in your brain type shit right Is there. Is that what's going on? Gotta yeah. be. How are you controlling that? Well, some of the people I follow are amputees. They have um, <coughs> robotic arms and shit, too. No, but this shit's not even hooked it's up. It's not even connected. Not even connected. They gotta be, he gotta be plugged in with his brain or some shit. Yo. Yeah, so I, I'm not down with that shit. Not, not at all. Not <coughs> at all. So, like, you know, it's, it's a lot of shit I'm willing to accept. Am I willing to do that shit? Fuck no. No. I watched a video not too long ago. Totally off topic, but on topic at the same time, because there was like um, a butt explosion, because this black lady had like got these implants for her ass, yeah, and they blew up, and they showed what that shit looked like. She was still alive, but her shit was all over the place. I was like, you know what, this is why I'm not really fond of plastic surgery and shit like that. All right, if it's necessary, like your shoulder, like my ass. All right, that's, that's a whole necessary thing because I won't try to be amputated, you know. But this lady got butt injections and she didn't get them from a professional. So whatever they put in her ass, it literally exploded. They got all the way down past the white meat. So there was like literally bones and shit. And I had put that shit on my TikTok or my fucking Instagram. I said, you know what, man? I got to give it up to women that are brave enough to do that shit. But at that same time, I was like, you know what? Just be with what God made you and be happy. You're living for you. You're not living to please no damn body else. And if you're into all that plastic surgery and shit, I'm not going to say don't do it because my voice ain't going to mean shit to you when it's your body. And if it makes you happy, it can't be that bad. But sometimes if it makes you happy, that shit can kill you. You know, you might want to consider that shit. And then people who can't like afford health insurance for that kind of shit, man, they do these, I'm going to go to Mexico, I'm going to go all the way down to the Bahamas and get somebody who ain't no real doctor, a backwards clerk that works in the pharmacy. They can get you some painkillers, but you letting them put like shit in your ass that you don't know where that shit came oh, from. That was a pause. And it's, it's blowing up. It, it's only women. I don't think dudes are going out to do ass injections. Maybe asshole bleaching, what? but not ass injections. Whoa. That is the thing. Oh, it's a thing. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all know I'm old. I talk straight oh, right out of the box. Straight little yeah. music. But, um, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. I just found out who that guy is. What you feel about Lil Nas? Lil Nas X. Oh, my God, dude. How you take that? Can they play I, that back in I, your day? I, I, hell no. Oh, okay. Hell no. RuPaul was like he got away with the shit that he got away with. You but mean, but like dick. like little now now I got mad respect for RuPaul, oh. but but Y'all little now I'm Elton still John. learning. That's that commercial Elton John and um Lil Nas Lil, yeah. That yeah, shit that, had me That's tripping. how I found out who he was. <laughs> I'm like, like whoa, that, y'all. I, I I like the song, <laughs> but I didn't know who the. You gotta take that part out, Josh. <laughs> I did not know y'all who the hell he was. Y'all is nasty. No. I did not know who that little guy yeah, was. Yeah, him and Elton and John. I, I seen all the commercials, even the one with I'm Michael glad J. I ain't Fox got commercials. and the um 
the, um, Gosh, man. Remember they did the Back to the Future commercial with Lil Nas got on the horse and he's like, whatever you want to do, don't go somewhere. And Michael J. Fox was there. And it's like, man, who the fuck is this little dude with these 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 lips and stuff? And then I read on the thing, oh, he had what? bought fake, he got big fucking lips. Pause yourself. Yeah. Yo, he I, is I pause worthy tonight, son. God, God damn, damn. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know if that was pause worthy or racist, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That was racist right okay. there, son. He I'm said sorry. that big lip nigga. <laughs> the big juicy lips. That was I did not use the N-word. I didn't use the N-word. Ew, but, but fucking, Damn. he did Pretty have... It's not the b 2 b show. <laughs> I remember that. That was the best show ever. But, um... <laughs> He, he even said it's the best show ever. Hey, you had. What oh, y'all to? Oh, is yeah. Loop jo- uh, Josh was the TV. I mean, uh, like sound like oh, for God. you. Hey, 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 hey my it, motherfucker. It, it, it was the best show. None ever. of them shows. He be it, talking about. Like, it, 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 anyway, fucking. Um, I didn't know who he was, and I'm sorry for burping on your show. It was a silent burp, but I'm sure the mic picked it up. <laughs> anyway, freaking the. When I first saw him, I seen him in those Pepsi commercials or whatever the hell they were. I didn't know who he was, but I knew his song. Um, what the fuck was his biggest oh, damn song? Because Billy Ray Cyrus was also in the damn song. Josh do it on. Um, I ain't, fuck, try, I ain't like, trying to do it. Um, what the fuck? Whatever the song oh, was, it was a really big song. Oh, Josh, when I heard the word Lil Nas, my dumb ass thought it was the Lil Nas that I knew. But I didn't know there was an X on it. Yeah, exactly. Ain't it was no like, Lil Nas. It's like, Lil Nas, is he Kenny Nas? I assume he was kidding the Nas. I didn't Google the little fucker or any of that shit because I don't give a fuck. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not worried about nobody coming at me. You know, keyboard warriors exist, right? I thought that he was kidding the Nas because you know, um, Nas is a decent rap. You know, oh, yeah. oh, it was straightened out after I got the the thing from the E, the net something news that comes on my phone where this dude bought these fucking breasts, and I said, oh hell no, nah. he's not kidding the Nas. Nas wouldn't stand for this shit. Because, you know, Nas is a badass rapper. No. Um, I remember the beef him and Nelly had. And I remember the beef him and KRS-One had. And, y'all, goddamn, I'm old. But no one fucks with KRS-One. So I'm pretty sure that, you know, everybody learned their places after that. But when I found out who Lil Nas X was, I was like, okay. This dude's a little strange. Now, I didn't know he was a member of the Alphabet community. I'm sorry. I did not know that shit. And I was like, damn. What's going on with this brother? What the hell's going on? And then every time I turned around, he was headlining some crazy shit. And the last thing that he done so far... A boosie on his ass. Was, oh, did you oh. see the gold outfit that he bought? The, the night uniform for the... um award show or whatever. Oh. He literally was just up like a night from King Arthur's cable table, whatever the hell. Okay. And he had this like like cool ass fucking robe and shit. I was like, oh, okay. It's probably like a Armani suit or some shit. No, nah, he uh. took that shit off. That motherfucker looked straight out of Camelot. And I was like, you know, people who got money pissing me off. Cause I ain't got no money. I'm a little jealous of that shit. This dude can't waste his money. Cause he dressed up like Comic Con. He was on the Comic Con type shit. Oh no, he he oh, he he could have been in a Galaxy Con or a Comic Con, but this shit was straight armor, like straight armor. I was like, okay, who you piss off? Did you gotta wear a, a fucking suit of armor? He didn't have a helmet, but he had a suit of armor. And I'm like, dude, I don't think you got that many damn enemies that you gotta wear armor to a fucking awards gala. But I don't know. He might. He might have pissed off a few straight. Man, cats. fuck that nigga, man. Hey, did y'all see that motherfucking um, uh, Bone Thugs versus Three Six Mafia? No. Did you see the verses? Who uh, won? I, I, I didn't see that one. I mean, it was all about who you fuck with for real. For at the end of the day, but you know, you know, they got fighting in there. Like, oh, I heard yeah. about that. Yeah. So you know, they was doing their thing. You know, first. They could be the cordial at, at, first, at first. They they both wouldn't come out on the stage because they wanted to go last. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So they called okay. Fat Joe back there to do a coin toss and shit like that. So Juicy J and them 3 6 went first. Boom. After about two songs, three songs, the nigga Busy Bone after three six song uh, go off. Now, this won't know this shit though, right? The nigga Busy Bone come up and say, Hey, you y'all ugly motherfuckers gonna stop. Um, Mimicking me or some shit like that, or, or mocking me while I'm on this motherfucking stage. You know what I'm saying? Soon as he said that, Juicy J said, "Suck my dick, man, suck my dick." 
That nigga busy on set. Had the water bottle, threw the water bottle. Shoo! Ah, oh, um, Jesus Christ. The nigga, uh, what's his name? DJ Paul step up, get in front of Juicy, and then they run up. Juicy still on that nigga. Froo! Damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, 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 Damn. All chaos break loose. Everybody come on stage. 300 people on the stage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Going crazy. All you hear is gangsta boo and shit in the back like, that nigga busy fucked up, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he, need, to, he need to take his pills. That nigga busy ain't take his pills. Damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> was wild, son. You know what I'm saying? Then they cut a little bit. They went back. Them niggas was just chaos, son. But they got it together. People well, wanted to see that shit because they got that shit together. Here's my thing about shit like that, man. This is exactly what the publications get paid for. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if you and I have some shit like that go on, your sales going up. No, your, your sales are definitely going oh, up. It's going down. Nah, hell nah. They'll go up. But uh, versus it, anyway, your sales go up. But that's the thing. Probably 200%. It, a lot of people who ain't got like, um, I need a, a, a mature word for this shit. Like, I guess a kosher attitude. Like, like you know, when we, when, yeah, shit, maybe you don't know. <laughs> Remember when snaps? Nope, maybe you don't. Never mind. Um, they have rap battle now, but there used to be a thing called snaps. Where motherfuckers would get snaps. up on there and, um, <laughs> it was on Comedy Central or MTV. Oh. And motherfuckers would get up there and do all the your mama jokes. Oh, okay. All right. Now you have Wild and Out. Right. It was like Wild and Out before Wild and Out came out. All it was right. called snaps. One of y'all go Google that shit. Any fucking hell, that if you can't take a your mama joke with somebody that you know, God knows you can't take a your mama joke Suck with somebody my dick. that you don't. You know, exactly. You know, you let me know. That's how the one that, you don't say uh, right uh, there. You, you let me know how you that ready works for out. Some, awesome. You know, uh -huh. but nine times out of ten, it's us. <laughs> it's, it's, it's us. You know, it's us people of color that deal with people who can't take a joke. And then you get mad about that shit. So my policy is like this, because when I was a kid, you could talk about my mama all damn day. I lived with her, so I knew what was true and what was not, mm. you know. But if you said something about my father, because he lived like three cities what and three hours away. What about my call you a nigga, though? Ooh. You know what? That never really bothered me. Ooh. You never because beat somebody up for calling a white boy up for calling you a nigga? I've never had a white person call me that. Oh, you. Uh, I've had them call me half-breed. Oh. Okay? okay? I've had more black people call me that until we got to school, where both of them would call me half-breed. So that, that was my, my, my glitch was nigga. calling me half-breed was the only thing that would piss me off more than I anybody. I remember at motherfucking yeah. camp, some white boy called me a nigga one time. You know what I'm saying? This when I was in, like seven years old. I actually as as I had a white girl there, call me a nigga. The nigga called me a nigga. I blacked out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know I what? jumped on him. I jumped on him from his neck. Jumped on top of him. Hit him down Luth ass pressed the and shit just out of was him, choking right? the shit out of him. I was just yeah. choking him. His head's about to pop off, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, started, he started turning all types of colors. And you know, he, started, he started purple, red, green. It was all types of colors. You know what I'm saying? Chris came over and was like, Josh, you know, stop. Get him off him. Get him off. I, just, I didn't know. I was like, oh, oh. Welcome to, I just took y'all to hell on the Go to Hell Express train. Whoa. No, because I literally only had one white person call me a nigga that I can remember. That's my first time. And, I ain't it, from the South. It, it, it was my <laughs> first time. It you know, was my first time. Traumatized dinner. Huh? Traumatized dinner. Traumatized. Traumatized. I was like, nigga, like, where am I at? Like, you know, I'm straight from Philly. Go to camp. <laughs> yeah, that's not something y'all had up there. Yeah, know? we had none of that. Here, we had that shit. Virginia, right. we had that shit. Right. That, that, that was nothing Parks new. Parks and Rex. But see, it happened to me at school. And I was in like either the third grade or the fourth grade, and my principal was Mr. Garrett. Now, as a as a mixed person, we don't use that word in our house. We've never used the N word in our house. Damn. Ever. And so, well, my mom looks white, man. You think she going around letting us holler, "Hey, nigga, this"? Hell no. Nah. And we went to white people's houses. I'm sure they probably thought we were adopted, but yeah, because my mom, yeah, my mom, mom, my mom white. is white. Really <laughs> pale, pale. Like. She's beyond pale. She's right. white passing. So I was at school and we were at the recess and the lady, the little girl, because we was in fucking grade school, and she looked at me dead in the face, dead ass serious, said, James, you're a nigger. I don't know what happened. Like you, I probably blacked out, <laughs> but I only hit her once. I only hit her only once. Hit it was reflex and it was with my weak hand. 
But I bust her lip. And I was like, Bip! And all you heard was, ah! And then all of a sudden, all my white friends were no longer my white friends. They never became my white friends again. So it was really fucked up because I couldn't even bring the word out my mouth. It was like, why'd you do it? Why'd you do it? And I couldn't tell them because we didn't use that word in our house. Nice. We never used that fucking word in our house. And the teacher came up and she saw the blood on my knuckle. She saw the girl's mouth busted open and she goes, go to the office. So we go to the office now. Cool points of Mr. Garrett, God rest your soul. And if you're still alive, you're ancient. But um, he sat me in the office. He said, James, you ain't been in trouble this entire time you've been a student at Berlin Moran. What the fuck happened? And he said just like that, and I was like, I can't tell you. He's like, why? Because she said a bad word. He's like, what? She said a bad word. Why would you hit her in the mouth? I was like, she's called me a bad word. But what did she say? I'm not allowed to use the word. This went on for about like 30 minutes. So, <laughs> hey, we won't allow you to use that he word. He wanted you to say that word. Yeah, he say wanted it. me to say the word. Say My mom used to beat us with yardsticks, all right? So, yeah, literally a fucking yardstick. Thank God I learned karate and learned how to break wood. Because that's how that stopped. Then she found other things to beat us with, like my fucking toy canoe. That's another God story. Damn. Anyway, so when he finally coached me out of me, he's like, so you know that's not a Josh, cuss word. like a penny from good times. <laughs> I, said, I said, well, my house, that's a bad word. It's like, what? He's like, we have five bad words that we don't say in our house. We don't use the F word. We don't use the S word. We don't use the D word. We don't use the F word. Is that and the C word. we don't use the N word? Well, <laughs> hey, that was never used in our house. You didn't say that though. We never heard that Cut. word. Cut. Yeah, we, we never heard that Cut. word. So what about dick? Which word? Dick. No, we didn't use that word either. But that wasn't the D word. The D word was damn. Oh. You know? oh. We could say divorced. Well, we never said damn. I, I've used dick when I like dropped the toilet on my shit. Yeah, you know, so I was like, "Mama, my dick hurts." Say, drop the toilet. On. It's a long story. Oh, we good. It's not that long. We, we good, bro. <laughs> Don't we worry. Good. I'm not gonna relive it. Uh, we good, bro. What anyway, fuck? yeah, that sounds crazy. We ain't getting it, that story. It, it, right, it's it's when you first learn how to do potty training. Let's move on from so God, the, the families the, the came to the school. Her her family came to the school. And my mom came to the school. Now, remind you, my mom looks white. Man, put your ass so in a lot of tech test. They thought that I'm going to pass it. A lot of term in the tech <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> we got to check yourself. The, the your white shit. family check thought that my mom was white, so they assumed that I was white. And it's like, why would a white boy hit a white girl in the mouth? And so, Mr. Garrett had explained No, they didn't believe that shit. Oh, your no. Mouth, your mom looked like you took your ass, Jay. No, nah, they, they thought my mom was white. And then... When my mom explained That's to them, that she wasn't That's not what I'm talking about your mom. I'm saying if they actually thought what you're trying to say is true, if you hit you, if they didn't know that was your mom, and you really thought they really thought you did hit her, they would have hand. Oh no, they knew ass. I hit her. They knew I hit her, oh. but they thought that I was a white boy because my mom looks white. Uh, we didn't. The parents didn't you see don't me. Don't look that. White. I said, my mom. I don't look white. Well, my how, mom they, how, looks how they white. thought you looked white then? No, because they thought I was white because she was white. Did, they didn't see you. No, the parents can't see other people's kids. When you get in trouble at Berlin Moran, that was like against policy. Uh, they had the girl sitting in a room over that way. Oh, they, I was in the nursery. Oh, they isolated me. Oh, fuck yeah. Literally. And they had our parents in the room. And so. We got four the, cabins for y'all. Um, you in that cabin, the you in that cabin, you in that cabin, you in that cabin. Had asked the, the girl's family, do y'all openly use the word nigger? Yep. And she said, yep. like, yeah, we openly use the word nigger. Of course. Said, well, it's a lot of niggers you, you can't have your child saying that in my why? school. That's why she got hit in the mouth. He's like, well, is is the kid white because his mom looks white? He's like, they use it, the word. He's like, I'm sure no. his mom used the word. He's like, first off, I'm not white. I'm just very light. I am mixed. And so it's like, what? So your kids of color is like, yeah. He's a, and, and the he's principal a, said, you need to stop talking right now because see, if you're teaching your daughter that shit, then that busted lip that your daughter has, she earned that shit. You need to be careful what you teach your daughter. We do not allow racism in my school. This is after they had a race war, of course. Uh -huh. But um, after that shit, you know, I, I didn't have any white friends until I got into the fifth grade. You had no race wars at your school? Y'all? Back over there? You had none yet? You? you had, okay. We had race wars. No. Nah. But, you know, Berlin Moran and back in the 80s was a long time ago. No. But, yeah, after that, you know, 
I've, I think I've been through more racism than anybody I know. Because from kindergarten to college, I have faced racism like all the time. And mixed kids, we don't have a support group. It, it's, it's a certain level to mix people, all right? Because everybody that is a black in the United States of America, kiss my ass, your asses is mixed. You might not want to believe that shit, but there was some slave masters getting it in. No, so you might not know it. When you take your goddamn DNA test, you can find out. No, I'm not just mixed because I say I'm mixed. The shit's fucking factual. And you can see it on my face. But anyway, the bottom line is it. Because some of the Mandingo tones. warriors was yeah. fucking the shit out of them white bitches. That, um, that too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It wasn't just the, the slave who was raping the, the black women, the slaves. Well, technically, the men were forced. The Mandingos yeah, well, was they, dropping dick off with the were, missus of the plantation. They were also being forced. Miss Johnson? Yeah. Miss Johnson? Oh, you fuck Miss Johnson too? Why do you figure they're being forced to do that? Hey, think about it. You, you think they gonna literally let that shit happen? Think, think long and hard about that shit. Yeah. They, no. It's a white, a white man is happen. not really... I'm saying, ain't no let, nigga. They sneak off in the woods and they yeah. fuck us up. See, if the women did that, that's fine. But there has been cases where there have been male slaves forced to have sex with white chicks. Yeah, that's real. That's yeah. gonna happen too. That's but, what I'm explaining. But look, ain't there like it. There have been cases. It, it, ain't, it ain't like ain't they like weren't giving it away. Nut off. Yeah. He gonna get that yeah. nut. It might be yeah, his last nut because when now, she get pregnant. For the women on the other <laughs> hand. On your back. Yeah, for the women on the other hand, they had no option. They had no fucking option. Man, we can take Period. you back to life. All yeah. right, if Eddie Murphy, motherfucking Martin Lawrence, um, can't get right with fucking the goddamn yep. plantation daughter. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Fuck yeah. Maybelline up. Yep. Yeah. She but fuck around had that he, brown He baby. couldn't even talk. She like that real light break. Yep. Yeah. But see, that, that's, that's the shit that, you know, they, they kind of leave out of the history books. There's like, yeah, we ain't, we ain't gonna talk about how some of the white ladies went in there, you know, because some of them did do that, you know, and then people born with my up top skin tone. God damn. <laughs> that's my true how color. Where the fuck you get that dog? Where you, you been to get that Yo, dog, what bro? the fuck? I don't, wear long, time, bro. I don't, I don't wear um, long sleeve shirts. No. I hear you, but it's winter time. I, I, I still won't wear long sleeves. That's shirt. got nothing to do with shit. You know, that's look like a tan. Summertime. This is a permanent tan. This is permanent. Summertime. All I did was wear short sleeve shirts for nah, years. This is bro. years. This is forty yeah. years of darkness, man. My true color, yeah. My natural true color. This arm also got um, first degree burnt once. So, yeah. I've never heard of tan lasting that long. No, something it, ain't right. It's permanent. It's permanent. That shit well. Now, I, like I said, I'm two tone. My true colors up here. The brightest shit, right? Man, you got blinded. alopecia, man. Stop playing. I don't have no damn alopecia. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is, but I don't have it. I might have OCD, but... Let me see that on. God damn, what? They're just bright. No. I mean, because with high your young. stories, right, what you talking about, like, yeah, did they know that you was black and shit like that? He probably thinking, like, this nigga cat, because... Nigga, you look dark. He's like, you couldn't see? You can't tell that you were that's black? Why, that's why I was like. But if he I was, in school, it, though. In, in school, school it, wasn't was, this, yeah. it wasn't this. It was, was this. Yeah. In school, it was this. My hair is straight because of fucking um, royal crown grease. You this like shit's Michael curly Jackson. than a motherfucker. So, you know, this, this shit right here, this was true skin color. No. This, this is work. That's yeah. years of work. Yeah. No. Years of James River beaches. Uh, what your neck look like? Okay. Got your neck issue? No. Just high yellow. Yeah, you little yeah. farmer's tan. Right there too. All, all, all farmer's tan. Except for every everything from below the belt, yellow as fuck. Yeah. It's yeah. quite bright. <laughs> I don't wear shorts unless I'm going to bed. I don't wear shorts. If I'm not at the beach, I'm not going without like perfect Pretty beach sure, wear. Sure. Yeah. But I also know we're, we're like like jogging shit, you know what I'm saying? But I can tell you when it comes to it, my bright ass skin tone, it is what it is. But yeah, fucking um. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry that this shocked you, you know? But yeah, when I was younger, like back when the Challenger blew up and shit, this is what everybody saw, everybody. Yeah. And, and up into up into the fifth grade, I, just keep I didn't know I was part native. I just, keep I just thought I was part black and part white. Never thought I was native. Until Miss Conrad called it out. 
though. It's like, you know you're part native. I'm like, no, no, part black and part white. No, you're part native. And again, kids don't see color. No, when, when I spent time with my grandmother on my father's side, who was Cherokee, I didn't see her as a Cherokee. I just seen her as an old lady. No, it's like, okay, well, it's an old lady. No, it's grandma. And she would tell us stories. I was like, okay, well, it's just stories. I got a question right with no disrespect. Do you always shut the fuck up? Do what? You always shut the fuck up. No. I can tell. No. That's why I make the perfect guest. God damn. Did they catch that? Wait, that oh, they got it. I am long with This motherfucker talked all the way through the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on the music. Going through the music. I ain't going to lie. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I'm fucking with you. It's all good, brother. I'm it is all you, good. Bro. I am not as shallow as I appear. I have been through enough shit that you learn how to, re- to fucking relax and adapt. Unless you call me chief, we're good. No. That, that's a traumatizing thing. It's like the N-word to black people. Because most people have never really taught me that. Because I'm gonna shoot you in the face. (laughs) 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 Dude, 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 dude! Party foul. Cause you gonna try to fucking come out and chop me or something? No, 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 no. You chop with hands on me, and I'll just be forced to go. Bow. No, 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 no. (laughs) I have learned the hard way to keep my ass to my goddamn self. No. You should watch this movie, right? This TV show on Netflix is called, uh, it's the Colin Kaepernick. You heard about that? No, I haven't. Colin but it's, it's like a biopic? Or is it a whole TV uh, series? It's a TV series. It's like six six episodes or something like that. Now he's a doctor, Going through right? about, you know, because he was, you know, he's a black man, but he was raised by two white people. That's why I asked if he was adopted. You, yeah, he was yeah, adopted. I'm pretty sure he's probably so, mixed. He only knew, I think he's mixed. You yeah. know, his white mom took him to false care, I think. Yeah. He only knew the white way. He didn't understand why at times he was getting picked on. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God. The yeah. people go in, you know, he go in the store, he go in the hotel. They tell him to calm down. Like, what am I even doing? That? You know, shit like that. And then he finally seen, you know, all the school people was white, all that shit. He finally seen some black people and shit. like. So that. he basically didn't know he was mixed he just was raised so white that he thought he was white. Because that's also a thing. I, know. Mean, I know that that sounds fucked up as shit, but it's the truth. Mixed people do not have support groups. I, a pure example, I, I read comic books all through school. Everybody picked on me about comic books. <coughs> but now, I'll ask you, and I'll ask you, how many of y'all motherfuckers have seen a bunch of fucking Marvel movies? How many Marvel movies have you seen? Quite a bit. Yeah, yourself. See, that's the thing. All those people that were laughing at me are now like, you know, we used to know a little motherfucker that used to talk about comics all the motherfucking time. Tell them how many characters I read. Tell me what? How many characters I read. No more than one, two, couple. Twenty. Anything over 25 characters is too much for me. Well, that depends. Now, are you going manga? Or you go on American comics? I do, I do, I do audio books. Oh, all right. How was those I, I listen to Will. I'm listening to Will Smith. You know, when it's in their voice, it's good. Okay. You know, Gucci Man in his voice. Oh man, you can't beat that. Um, Prodigy of Mob Deep in his voice can't beat it. Can't beat it, especially that one. You see, I've it's my never. Favorite. I read that one um, again. I've never well, done audio books because I didn't know how those things actually function. I'm retarded. But yeah, you know, the, hey, I'm honest about it. I've never done audio books. I've heard of them, but you know, I'm like, all right, well, does that like... You're a blunt mother, rolling motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. Does that take out the, that. um... God damn. I ain't never told the, you um, that. <laughs> Candy. What the fuck? Does it take out the, um, the joy of actually reading the shit? Because he knocked dudes out with one hit. And to one, they called him Noid, because he looked like the Domino's pizza character, the Noid. He was God the only damn. one in the crew with his own apartment. No parents. He was the same age as Havoc and me who was on his own because his mom supportedly got locked up for cutting off a man's finger and left him with the crib. That was the hangout Damn. spot. We called it the Honeycomb Hideout. Noid had another nickname, the Natural Born Hustler. Pay the bills and support this himself. Shit, this book like... Put the QB five years prior hours. from Red Hook Project How in many? Brooklyn. 13 hours. He to me much and wasn't friendly at first. So is it all um, fiction face, or not? So I think this is his life. Oh, all right. Like he brought... So it's, it's definitely not fiction. Yeah, he... Yeah, that's what I'm listening to. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Because as long as the person is explaining it, it's different. I can never explain my life to anybody. 
She just won. I, I, I so think I, mean, I would probably collect today. more hate than, than love trying to explain shit. Uh, next to Especially like when I said mixed people don't have a support group. Yeah, because that's like a thousand percent the truth. What was your sport of school? I mean, I play, I play, always played basketball. I was never in a, in a sport. Like in school though, but you still yeah. play basketball. I was in no. drama. Well, I was in drama. I played the flute too. But it was, see, I can't do none of you that shit. You should start doing that again. But fucking like, I think I should. A lot Get of a kids. Cheap <laughs> That's no, where I got my first one. That's where I got my first oh, one. I, I got a couple of my video cameras from Pawn Stores. Mm-hmm. They work very fucking well. I got a couple of my pistols from Pawn Stores. Mm-hmm. I forgot they could sell them there. But yeah, fucking mm-hmm. um, when it comes down to like, all right, like, can I do the color wheel thing? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Oh yeah, you do. <laughs> all black people know the color wheel. All black people know the color wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking about the pawn shop? No, I'm talking about racism and the color fucking wheel. Because uh, of not having a support group. I Brown bag test. Know what that is. You know what that is. Mm-hmm. That's your color wheel. Now, if you put a brown bag next to James, oh, well, he's too fucking yellow. So, you know, the browner kids don't want to hang with the off-white yellow kid. The darker kids don't want to hang with the brown kids or the off-white That's yellow kid. That's how she started slavery, bro. Yeah. Like, I know, them, but at the same push. time, it never went away. Wait, you was in the house, against, boy. We gonna put y'all against them other. You was a house Negro, no, uh-huh. and no. we was in the field. What about the people in between? Y'all was in the field. Yep. Okay. <laughs> y'all y'all was in the field. You gonna be so, in the field. so? While I'm this color, I'm in the field. But when I'm up here, I'm in the house. So while you in the field, they still going to talk about you. Now the field niggas going to talk about you. Oh, white man, boy, why you in the house? You ain't good enough to be in the house. Oh, 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 non-house being in, nigga. Uh, you fly free with that damn N-word, don't you? It's a real quick, <laughs> real shit deal with yeah, podcast. Yeah. Yes, it is. But yeah, you know, um, the color wheel and not having support from other black people. That shit fucks us up, though. How many... um? Black guys that are dark, do y'all see as superheroes? Outside of Wesley Snipes when he did the original Blade. That nigga on, you, you, on Iron you, Man. Um, Don Chill. War Machine. Yeah, Don Chill. Yeah. But before that, it was Terrence Howard. Tarzan. Oh. Okay. So, oh. besides that example and, and Don Chill. Nigga was Blade, nigga. What you talking about? But besides those two. Shit. How many darker skinned brothers have you seen? The the darker skinned brother that was anybody was What's the dude the, from fucking Power. From I mean, Wing. Um, no. The wing nigga with this flying, they'll be flying around. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's on the new shit. That's the new bat woman. Because Nightwing is his name. Oh, okay. Or Night Bat or some shit. Whatever the fuck. But um, besides him, <laughs> and besides <laughs> Mr. Terrific, because if you watch the CW, Mr. Terrific was a dark skinned brother too. But besides them, other than the guy that played Luke Cage, no other hero has Luke been darker than him. Luke Cage. No one has been darker than him. That has played heroes. Luke Cage, the blackest nigga that was. No, what, what is no. he black in the Western Snipe? No. Ain't nobody no, he's black not. in the Western Snipe. No, he's not. That's why I said, outside of him, <laughs> the, the only it's other stupid. person has been. Talking about color wheel, nigga. The only other person that has ever been has been Terrence Howard and the Don Shield guy. When you clear them, oh, Don Shield is darker than Terrence Howard. What was Terrence Howard? What kind of superhero? He was War Machine, but he never got to be War Machine. First oh, Iron oh, Man. No, Michael Blackstone, pretty dark. Michael who? Black motherfucker. I don't, I don't think I know him. <laughs> that's, that's exactly I, how you say it, too. I will have to Google that him. That dude a trip. But for, for the reason, it's the same thing with Hollywood. Hollywood lets the lighter-skinned people play the hero. They rarely let the darker-skinned person play as the hero. I know, pay that much now, attention. Of course. Most people don't. But I like um, somebody came across my FYP on one of these shows Fucking you're page. watching. Um, my TikTok, there was a, a brown-skinned woman. Who was mad that a light skinned woman was playing a dark skinned woman? See what I'm saying? Then she was like, This shit had never happened. The woman was based in factual it characters. It started and with she Annie. Been black. It started with Annie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. They I... cast the black Annie back in the day. Hollywood <laughs> went crazy. You know what I'm saying? They still going a little crazy. And then, they, you know, they tried to get the James Bond. Yeah, they weren't going to allow that to happen. He just helped. They weren't going to allow that to happen. You see, they didn't do that, though. Yeah. Because they'd have to change the whole narrative. How did you go for 50 years being a white dude, and now you're a black dude? They, you know, they'd have to try to find a scientific explanation if, for that. 
outside of the multiverse. They won't they let have to be 007 be black, but they might let them be gay. Or female. Or female. Or female. I think they go female first. Yeah, I think they would go female first, but how would they explain that? We just want, it, we just want to create a figure on how they do yeah, it. Yeah, but see, I, up some shit. y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but every James Bond, even though it's a different guy, is supposed to be the same goddamn Bond. Yeah. No, if, if I'm wrong on that, let me know. Yeah, you're right. But, all right, so you started off with Sean Connery, and there was a guy between Sean Connery and Roger Moore, or he came first. I don't know how that shit worked, but every James Bond has been a white man. Sadly, Roger Moore is my favorite, and, then, and Sean Connery and Pierce Brosnan are a tie, but Timothy Dalton got the short end of the stick because he got the worst two James Bond movies, License to Kill and Whatchamajig. This is the new one. No yeah. Time to Die. Yeah, that's still... Um, What's the fuck is his name? Aegis, that's supposed to be the Aegis. They've yeah. been talking about that shit for years. But they, they decided to keep Daniel Craig. And, and that I, was the best decision. <laughs> and I think Daniel Craig will do one more before they re replace him. Because each James Bond has done up to five to seven movies. I think Sean Connery and Roger Moore have done the most. Pierce Brosnan, I'm for sure, has done four. Because I, I like Pierce Brosnan because I used to be a Remington Steel fan. But, God damn it. Really revealing my age now. Um, but um, Timothy Dalton only did two. He's the only Bond that's only done two. Everybody else has done more than two. No. I love Sean Connery. I love Roger Moore. I love Pierce Brosnan when he did it. I'm not a big Daniel Craig fan. I haven't seen not one of his James Bond movies. Not one. I like Daniel Craig, but I don't picture him as Bond. No, if he's done good, y'all can let me know. But I have not really given him the chance to be Bond. Not saying he can't be Bond, he's just not the Bond. Are you still going out to the movies? You still going to movies? Oh, God, yeah. Okay. I'm going to see Spider-Man tomorrow. You got that COVID. I want to see Spider-Man. No. I have my shots. Man, but, I mean, they may have a preview tonight, but I ain't going to see that shit. Especially if um, Alamo Draft House doesn't get it. I paid $8 for Doritos a couple of weeks back. When How I went much to is that Best shit now? Evil. How much is all that movies and shit now? Well, Alamo Draft House does a military discount, so I pay $10 for my ticket. But typically it's what? 20 Good God! For yeah. one ticket? One ticket. Oh, this is the Alamo, though. Because uh, you can it, eat and uh, shit. No, 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 no. That, that does not cover the food. I know. But um, I paid $20 last week. Because the seat tough. Um, the seat tough. At, um... It's on field. Thank you. Thank you. I paid $20 for that ticket, and they don't do military discounts. Right. And then I paid $8 for Doritos. $8 is a meal at Alamo. That's real? No. That's like a whole meal. I got a fucking bag of Doritos. And I don't you mean no disrespect that. to that damn you, shit, you, but you that kind of pissed me off. Alamo? The Alamo uh, Draft movie House. Draft it's on movie. Fifth Street Station. What, what is this now? Alamo it's Draft House. It's a theater. Where, no, I never heard of that. Where's that? Yeah, it's on Fifth Street Station. They got like individual chairs. Well, they yeah, also got the real ones comfortable chairs. And all you know, you shit. can lay back. Shit got a little, uh, oh, little tray so you goodness. can eat. Yeah. It got waiters and shit that come by. Oh. But like, yo, what you want? They sit by. You want you know, yeah. this one? This one? This you can get some drinks. It's an awesome ass theater. Like it's yeah. a very nice experience. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying. But that's that's why I always do it. Is that open now during COVID? Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, open. Yeah, they're yeah. open. They, but you have to pay with debit. You can't pay with cash. So that's all you say. Well, I only used to pay with cash until it's like, nah, COVID, dude. We ain't washing off no dollar bills. So yeah, you got to go in and do that goddamn debit card. And I hate because I can't keep track of my debit shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mathematically inclined, right. which explains infantry. So, you know, I, if I'm paying you cash, I know what I gave you. Now, if I give you $50 and the ticket is $10, I'm going to get two 20s back. You know, I know that's going to happen. But oh, yeah, What's that, man, you just said right there? If you give what? I give you a 50. Okay. It's $10. Uh -huh. I'm going to get two 20s back. Got you. Am I wrong? Yeah, you just said it fast. And I, I okay, I, I'm just making sure, but am I wrong? Yeah. No, you good. All right, okay, cool. So, you know. You're like Rain Man. You can just yeah. nah. count them <laughs> fucking two picks, nigga. No, I know what I gave you. There's five in the box. I, I know what the fuck <laughs> I gave you, you know. <laughs> but when you take shit off my debit, you ain't guaranteeing me you taking what you say you take. No, taking. it's not. They're going to charge you a, no. a, a fee. Well, see, I, I always a give them a tip. fee. I always give them a tip, too. But yeah. the, um, the, the credit union is what charges me the fee. Yeah. But it's not the movie. Swiping theater. that motherfucker going to cost you just yeah. to swipe it, and you won't see that on your receipt. No, you won't. <laughs> but you will see that shit when your statement comes out. No, and I was like, well, damn, you know. But I try to, I try to at least give a tip. 
because I'm poor as fuck, and I know that people who work in theater and work in restaurants, they get fucked. Seven ways from Sunday, they get fucked. You heard about that woman that got a four thousand dollar tip? Yeah, she got fired. Yeah, they fired her. I was right. like, that's some fucked up ass Cause shit. Cause she didn't want to split it. Like, no, she wanted to. She told them that she had to split it because that was the school, the the restaurant's policy. When the restaurant found out that she told them that was the policy, they fired her after the people gave her the tip mm-hmm. in the parking lot. Yeah, she had to split it. That's what the policy was? was. Yeah, that's the policy. A lot of but they was gonna give that. it to her. They wanted to give it to her and only her. Right. But the restaurant's policy is that you have to give half the restaurant tips to all the staff. I heard that. Oh, so, she's stupid. Oh no, that shit's factual. I used to be aware. That's we weren't allowed to take tips. Like, why was she? So, why was she? Bitch, take that money. No, because here's the thing. All right, if you ever work in a restaurant, this is something that you need to learn. When you work in a restaurant, they have strong policies. From page one to page done. I, you read that handbook, because if you don't read that handbook, they'll fuck you. They will fuck you, and they will have a reason to fire you, even though you didn't know it, because that page you didn't read, that's where they got that shit from. I, every handbook I've ever gotten on a job, I've read that shit. I know that sounds like some nerdy ass shit, because no, I'm I not a nerd. I started but, to you know, if, if you don't read that shit, what yeah. you miss, that's that loophole that they're going to kick your ass out of. Like, Because Virginia specifically is a right to work and fire state. Which I did not fucking know until I got fired from TJ Maxx. But you know, um, you know, but you don't read that handbook. And I read TJ Maxx handbook. They fired me because my two weeks wasn't written. It was really? verbal. So they fired me because they could. Mm-hmm. And I was like, mm-hmm. y'all motherfuckers left me like no door, like at all. They insisted because I was trying to get a job at Jaunt and keep my job at TJ Maxx, which Jaunt they also reneged on their promising of CDLs and classes and shit for free, and then you'll be working for us. Ten dollars an hour, and I was like, "Yes!" Mm-hmm. So I can still work at TJ Maxx and work John. And it's like, "All right, cool, I can do that." Plus, I still have my other job. Mm-hmm. Lost two jobs. On that day. God damn! Because <laughs> um, I went there to TJ Maxx, and the people at John never told me that they weren't gonna give me the class. The very next Monday, I was out of a job because they fired me that Friday. I didn't know I was fired until I went back to TJ Maxx. Like, now nah, you fired? It's like, how am I fired? I put in my two weeks. It's like. You didn't put it in by written paper. You verbally gave it to me and Miss Vi, and Mr. Reed and Miss Vi took that opportunity to give me boots to ass, and I never got the job back. I love my job at TJ Maxx. Man, you know, tell I them really what you got going shit. on, though, James. What you got going on out there in the world? And tell them okay. your, your, your Instagrams. So, yeah, I did a lot of Instagram today. I did um, bound fighting, so that's with your hands tied in front of you and behind you. I did the same thing on TikTok before that because I give my word. If I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to fucking do it. I have to still talk to 99 about getting my profile changed from James Williams Jr. to Echo Fan Grey Wolf because I am not six foot three. And I have tried and tried to change it from home and it won't change. I'm 5'3". Now, every bit of 5'3". And then um, I got a lot of fucking TikToks of me and the Spider-Man 299. And the only big thing I got going on is... Galaxy Con is coming and I'm going to be there. Oh yeah, my book is still in the publishing stages for American Kona Weech. So hopefully, hopefully Page Publishing will drop that. So please buy it when that shit hit the fucking stands. I'll be sure to update you when I'm updated. And then I have another book that I want them to produce, but I don't have $2,000 to just shell out. Now, and that one is called Love 13. I actually wrote that before I wrote American Kona Weech. And I dedicated it to people that I probably shouldn't have dedicated it to, but my father had passed, so I dedicated it to him. And then my surrogate father also passed, so I dedicated it to them. That being said, you know, that's pretty much everything. I'll probably go home and make a TikTok in the suit again tonight. No. Uh, underscore or JW underscore Grey Wolf for TikTok. Also at EFG for TikTok. That's my backup account. Uh, James Edward Williams Jr. 616 is my Instagram. No. I'm not hard to miss. I'm getting choked in the Scarlet Spider suit by the Kingpin on both profiles. So you won't miss it. If you know what the Scarlet Spider Heard it here first. Also, thank you for Jay Diz for having me. Thank you for sure Anonymous for, for having me. And y'all be safe and read a fucking book. Not mine. It ain't out yet. But you got any new music? Me? Yeah. Um... We got this track called Sniffles that was probably coming out. All right. You know what I'm saying? Probably got this track called Sniffles. It should be coming out. It's the winter time. Niggas got the sniffles, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I get it. 
I get it. Is that just like gonna be the title track, or you got? That's the title yeah. track. Actually, I got a lot of tracks for real, for real. Um, I did them over with Bo. You know Bo, right? Yeah. I did them with Bo. He just I'm really he ain't trying to release them to me, so I don't. Know what Don't you fucking hate that? I finished these songs a year ago. <laughs> nah, I, I know that feeling. That there's nothing worse than like waiting. What the fuck is he waiting now? I don't know. I called him, told him I need him. I need him, need him. Is is he? Um, I'm about to perform a track. I'm about to perform it tonight. I need is, these tracks. Is he being a douchebag full of dick tip dumpster fire? That's what you said. Yeah, don't answer that. No, but yeah, man, you know when when you got shit on the, the table, then you gotta get that shit out. Yeah, I got like five, six when, songs. When, when you got that shit on the table, you have to get that shit out. Because yeah. if you don't, um, a thought and an idea is energy. It can transfer from me to you. Next thing you know, I'm, I'm, I'm using your shit and you don't even know I'm using your shit. Change the lyrics yeah. a little bit. You know, people don't believe that shit, but I believe that like, if you got a song in your head, you need to go sing it and record it because if you don't, it's going to go in somebody else's head and then they're going to have a hit and you're going to be like, well, damn, you know, I had the song the exact same shit. They got your millions. Think about that shit. They got your fucking millions. You heard it here first. Excuse me. Whoa. Yeah, that's a good way to exit. Lipton T. <laughs> Just real quick, real shit, deal with it. Deal with it. Hey. Thanks for having me.